three, two, one, go! Excellent, sexy. Alright, everybody. Are you ready for another episode of... More Horror! Oh, this will be the psychological oh traumatic okay. edition. Are you oh, sure about yes. that? Hurt me plenty. Greetings, friends. I hate it's that time. difficulty mode. Backlash. <laughs> Welcome back, everyone. I completely forgot how to do everything. We haven't been able to pop on this for a while. Oh, God, the yeah. Things that's kind of occurred, everything else. There's a lot of things that happened in the back. But welcome back, everybody, to Warhands 40K. Yeah. I'd like to introduce everybody. You know, if you forgot who we were in everything, uh, first off, the one who's been playing your Skatari Ranger, Speaker D. Huh? I am Speaker. Well, I'm Speaker, and I'm playing uh, this man. That's all you have to know for today. I love you. I kill you. Next up, an inquisitorial acolyte, Reeb Van Horn, played by Erndil. Hi, yeah, I write for the I write for uh, Alpha Busa at this point because I write for TTS no more. Yeah. I, thought, I thought you were about to start the Jurassic Park. Yeah, I genuinely. Like, everyone, everyone, I, everyone always assumes I'm going to do Jurassic Park, but no, that is the sad Hulk theme. They have very yeah. similar intros. It's like you have like the same scene. It's like it's like oh my god, they do move at herds, and it's a bunch of GW lawyers. <laughs> <laughs> we're okay, never going to Next, next per, yeah, moving, yeah. <laughs> moving on. I guess we're moving, moving on. on dude. Okay. <laughs> I'm yeah, everybody keep a good on an attitude. I played the section Psycho Lawn in the Lawniverse. Lord, the finally, extended Lawniverse. Our <laughs> we just don't give a fuck anymore. <laughs> it's like, yeah, we're here. Uh, we're off our so shit. In playing our rogue trader, playing Captain Zedek. That's me. I'm, I'm Oki Crow. I I do some voice acting for Mr. Alpha Abuse and a couple of his cool friends and other projects. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I do a lot of funny screamy shouting stuff. I'm here to. I mean, I already had my emotional trauma last episode, so I think we're done with that. Hulky, you sound especially New Yorker today. Yeah, I was just about to say. God <laughs> damn it! I've worked so hard to get rid of that accent. I, it, <laughs> uh, why? I I miss my old Jersey accent. I am a beast of no nation. Yeah, Joyzy. Get on with it! Oh, East Coast Pride is dead. I do enjoy the mental, like, gear shifts we have to make to be like, oh, uh, not TTS anymore, uh, this... <laughs> Alpha Boosa, thing, Alpha uh, Boosa. <laughs> Alpha Boosa and Alpha Boosa Incorporated. <laughs> <laughs> we, a product of the Alpha Boosa universe. Yeah. We suckle on the teat of the enormous Swede. A big Swede, if you will. Beer band. All right, bye. <laughs> Speaker D has left the server. Yeah, well, Speaker D would no longer be appearing in any war. <laughs> hey, who and, are you, uh, Thurston? Oh, uh, hello. Wow, way to bury the lead there. Hi. Uh, wait, no, Zorin, introduce me. We got. We have to keep a similar. Yeah, I was getting here. there, but I was waiting for <laughs> for a pause of uncommentary. So, the one who will be leading us through these adventures today is th is uh is our very own game master that we uh, captured. I'm like a fucking Pokemon. Like, yeah, what, did you find me and like threw a ball and it's like, ah, this is how you collect the game masters yeah, now. We found, yep. we found Thurston under the moo truck. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we've been saving the master ball for this one. All right, well, hi, I'm Thurston on Call GM, and I'm gonna be the GM. And just because things are weird right now doesn't mean I'm gonna relent on my psychological torment and emotional destruction of our players because that's what we do around here. We do the ha ha funnies and the pain train. That's me. So wonderful. Yeah. Do we have any, uh, I don't think we have any uh, folks watching over Tater Tot today, do we? No, uh, I, did, I did not get a list of those yet, so we'll, we'll, okay. we'll update we'll it, it next, next time. week. Next time, yeah, next time. Yeah. Can, I, can right. I make a small announcement? What's that? Uh, I just wanted to announce, ironically, today, I'm wearing my Ultramarines t-shirt. Isn't that wow. such a coincidence? Oh my goodness. Yeah, that's right. that's really great free advertising you're doing. Uh, can you mark him down a rap? In fact, mark him down <laughs> yeah, both yeah. rap points. I'm right, yeah, mark down a rap point for wearing. Yeah, you're wearing the shirt. Speaker. For the rest of the yeah. episode. 
Speaker, yeah. why aren't you wearing your licensed, well, not licensed, Warhams tank top that you can find? That I'm You're also right. right. I'm now. wearing. Do we sell those? I hope we do. We do, actually. I'm wearing a Warhams yeah. t-shirt right yeah. now. What the fuck? What's your excuse, yeah. guys? I, yeah. never, I never got that. I never got pie hard. I, there's, you know, I, I need. I paid for it myself because I support the thing we do. Well, you know, I'm. Uh... <laughs> no, no, fuck that. Nature. I forgot. Bully. I don't wow. even have a pie hard poster. Oh my god. I, I, I love that uh, now that like TTS is kind of on hiatus, our intros are just like complete anarchy. It's wonderful. It's, it's fine. It's fine. We're getting we're getting into it. This is we're getting the into. fans are here to listen to us be like this so that <laughs> I can build you up before I tear you down. That's right. So there's right. some what adventure do you have for us today? All That's right. Really so uh, last time on the exciting worlds of Warhams, our intrepid band of chuckle fucks woke up on a uh, str- in a cave in a strange icy planet, which they quickly realized was a different planet in the Fimbria system where we've spent the last kind of major part of our arc in. Uh, after doing some exploration, they, they found a camp and the, the dead remains of a uh, crewman church from the old Carillon. Then they were uh, approached by a strange Xenos uh, of the Eldari race who brought them uh, back to the cave and explained a whole bunch of big lore dump episode. We learned that uh, one Slehebergo de Fuckerby, don't follow his name, uh, seems to be collecting shards of some kind of strange uh, entity, some some ancient being of power. And the Eldari uh, believe that our Chucklefox are somehow interconnected with this and so are assisting our, our players by getting them uh, to where they need to be by traveling through their ancient device uh, known as the Webway uh, a portal through through space and in perhaps some cases time and our our band entered into this realm a, a sort of broken down part of, of the ancient Eldari Weebway network and in there they they traveled for some time during which they encountered a door and upon entering that door we they, they found themselves in what appeared to be like a gala party room and there was everyone in there showering praise upon Zedek and it quickly became apparent that there was more going on as some kind of malign entity who had was claimed to be Zedek's father was approaching and, and the rest of our, our party managed to, to support Zedek as best they could, even Reeb slightly. Um, as, as, as Zedek fought back the, the temptations of the strange, dark powers that were being thrust upon him. And in the end, with his rejection and the power of friendship, uh, our, our band managed to find their way back onto the path they were trotting through the, the strange labyrinthine network of the Weebway. Yes, I'm just going to call it the Weebway now. Sorry, everyone, that's the new term. Um, and, and sort of walking through this this dimension gone wrong. And as they have been doing that, they came upon another door, what appeared to be some sort of sealed airlock, which they were uh, looking to, to enter. They finally managed to activate it and go in. And as these sort of pneumatic doors opened and hissed, our party finds themselves entering what is an absolutely perfect laboratory. The door opens and each of our characters enters into an area that has is filled with cryogenic stasis tubes. Uh, there's all sorts of Medicaid equipment. Servitors are lining, <clears throat> lining the walls along with cogitator units. And there are very clearly additional servitors that are moving along piping at the the ceiling moving around diagnostic equipment um this is perhaps one of the most well stocked laboratories any of you have ever entered in your lives oh fancy lon's like just picking up like random scalpels like a table and looking at it look at all the tubes and i uh Reeb, but what's in, what's in this one? And he kind of taps one of Why the, are you uh, asking me? I'm like, I just want, I don't know what this is. Look at it. It looks weird. 
He will go over to whatever he's gesturing at and will look at what's in the tube. Sure, it appears to be some kind of transfusion device for blood. Well, if you happen to be missing any blood, this would be able to restore it to you. It's <laughs> all very that? standard equipment in a well-stocked medical laboratory. Reeb's saying that with a very noticeable note of irritation. Master Van Horn, one of the servitors on the, the ceiling mount, speaks down to you. Hmm. Master, huh? Yes, Master Van Horn, would you like us to begin the next project? <sighs> Jog my memory, Servitor. What is the next project? The elimination of the virus on Sanctum 4. We have various biological solutions in testing that could eliminate the pathogen. I was gonna. Can I do a quick? Does that name seem familiar at all? Because it doesn't to me. I'm assuming this is obviously in what would be assumedly the future. You can you can give me some kind of test. Absolutely. What kind of test do you want to make? To a scholar. I'll do a scholar. Sure. Sure. That seems the most sensible at this time. I'm rolling. Roll. Roll. School days. That gets me seven successes. Yeah, uh, there are several planets in the Imperium called Sanctum. There's probably at least eight planets in the Imperium named Sanctum. Uh, all of them generally are pretty populous worlds. So you like you you realize that like if there's some kind of plague or whatnot on one of these worlds, it would be pretty uh, pretty massive. Uh, very well. What is the status of the? vaccination or inoculation or whatever we're working on at this moment. The cure, we believe, has a 99.5% success rate. Per your orders, we are increasing tests to achieve 99.8. I do like 99.8. It's one of my favorite numbers. Yes, well, keep it up. We shall continue compliance and like the the ceiling tour turns and sort of like scoots down towards a wall alcove where it begins inputting information. Uh, Reeb's gonna look for a desk that one would sit at presumably in this laboratory. Yeah, you turn like around to look and your eyes immediately catch one. Like a fine wooden desk, uh, it, it like the front of which has like an inquisitorial rosette symbol on it. Yeah, there we are, gentlemen. This way, if you please. Mm. Oh, yes. I'm guide everyone over to the desk so I can begin pouring over it. I guess because this is all very suspicious. Yeah, there, and you come there, and there's there's two stacks of paper. Uh, the first stack that you see appears to be um, noted astropathic communications from various settlements, sending their thanks to Master Van Horn for for your your work against various pathogens or outbreaks or diseases. Hmm. Un unused to receiving credit for that, Reeb will. Uh, just kind of not turn his attention to that because he's a little weirded out that someone would thank him for his work. Uh, he will turn to maybe some other materials that are on the desk. If there yeah, is anything like an identifier of some kind as to who owns this desk, he can assume he owns it in whatever twisted reality this is. He's not insane enough to assume otherwise. Uh, yeah, the, um, the only clue the only clue of it is a is a small like weathered photo uh, that appears to be of the four of you together uh, sitting in the corner of the desk. What is the context of this photograph or picture? It was the photograph it? that was taken of the four of you the day you were first put together as a member of the uh, Ambassadorium. Are there any marks on this picture? 
Uh, there's like some some nicks and tears and like at least one that clearly looks like a scalpel that has like pierced right through Pybrain's head at least once. Okay, par for the course. Got it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, flipping it over, nothing on the back at all. Uh, yeah, as you like, you take it and you you see that there's like a a cogitator stamped date and time, and then like yeah, like a you know, ambassador squad, blah blah blah, whatever your num- number designation would be, sort of thing. Uh, yeah, Reeb's gonna take the the picture and he's going to try and summon another servitor. Servitor, attention, please. Another one of the ceiling tours sort of rolls over. This this is a different one. It has two sort of claw-like appendages for grabbing. Yes, Master Van Horn. This date here, Reeb is going to put his finger next to the timestamp date. Remind me, how long ago was it? Takes it, looks at it. Unable to comply. Places the picture down. <laughs> of course. Haven't thought that part of the delusion up, have you? Reeb is going to shout towards the ceiling, not at anyone in particular. As you shout shout at the ceiling, the the, the, the ceiling tour like retracts back. Um and as that as it retracts back, you kind of hear hissing sound, like the the expulsion of gases. And all of you would hear this by the desk, like this. Where's it coming from? Um, you can all sort of, like, look around, uh, and you, you see that some of the, the, the tubes at the far end of the chamber seem to be, like, spilling out this sort of greenish gas into the air. Uh, can I do a quick Medicaid to see what the hell that is? Absolutely. It's good. Good. Uh, medic. Medic. Rule. Ooh, very nice. Seven. Seven successes again, yeah. Um, you can tell that it's activating the stasis, or deactivating the stasis unit, so the things inside would be uh, able to, you know, interact with regular environment again. Mm-hmm. He was going to watch that very carefully. And as that that, that, that gas seems to, to, to be filtering, there's a there's a pneumatic hiss from the door you all entered, which opens up to reveal a chamber behind that wasn't there before. Like, it doesn't connect back to, to the strange alien pathway you were on. Instead, there is a mob that is standing in the door, and they, they sort of lurch towards you from the now open door in, like, hospital schmocks that are torn and, and like, ratty, and their skin is this almost, like, white-gray. They have these, like, rictus grins and, like, eyes that stare in different directions and patches of little green on them as they start shuffling through the doorway. And you can tell there's dozens if not hundreds of them. Uh, A grand delusion. As expected. So they are not real zombies? Gentlemen, don't touch them. I don't think you had to tell us that. And they're like spilling into the room. They are spilling into the room. Back towards the other door. Um, okay. Is, is there a nearby thing that I could use to try to shut the door? Uh, they've kind of spilled out in a way that you'd have to like start hacking through them if you wanted to reach the terminal like beside the door. No, don't want to do that. I will follow Reeb's advice. This is his nightmare delusion. Blah, blah, blah. No, shut up. Stop. Reeb's going to switch on his flamer because this is the opportune time for this. And like as you you hit it, there's there's another pneumatic hiss as the hallway that like connects into this room opposite from the door you entered, like a set of blast doors close and trapping you in this this laboratory space. Oh, good. <laughs> the stream of of these these zombie like entities continuing to shuffle in. They aren't like running or like directly moving to it. It's more like just a a gaggle, like 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 a crowd at a convention that's just continually getting bigger. What? You think I'd feel anything for this? Reeb is again shouting to nobody. Reeb, who are you talking to? Captain, it's blatantly obvious what they're trying 
First they tried to butter me up, now they're trying to intimidate me. I give up! I don't care! And then I'm going to fire at them. Yeah, so like, you, I, I take take a shot with your flavor. Yeah. Uh, DN? We're not doing that, right? Uh, no, no, don't worry about that. No. Okay, I, roll I will tell you if it is a success or not. Okay. Oh boy. Oh yeah, 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 absolutely. Three and uh, a complicate. Three and a complicate. So you you manage to f like flame and you you like take out the tank in just a like whooshing blast of flame, um, and you take down probably like a dozen if not more of these these shuffling entities. But more seem to just fill up the gap, and you can tell your your flamer is now out of ammo. But they still aren't like advancing menacingly. They're just kind of like shuffling through. <laughs> and like some of them even stumble and collapse over the charred bodies uh, a few of them like catch on fire from the residual flames before like standing up and awkwardly joining the gaggle like well on fire bye you'd best keep your distance I don't want you or that icicle you're toting getting sick charging the deadly infectious diseases that, just, that takes remarkable tact from you, Pi. Wait, 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 wait. Difficult. Out of the way. Out of the way, I said. Out of the way. <laughs> and you hear this, like, jovial laughter coming from deeper in the crowd. Out of the way. Out of the way. And, like, emerging from the crowd of these is another, um, another, like, fleshy zombie-like entity, though this one appears to be wearing, like, a bright a bright button-up t-shirt on top of the prison gown. Uh, like, some kind of, like, flora adorn pattern adorns it, and it, like, gets to the front, and it waves its hands out wide and looks at you. Ah, read, my boy! <laughs> Good to see you. He's going to lightly lower the flavor. Do I know you? Oh, of course you know me. <laughs> I have known you for a while. <laughs> You're my favorite. I said that once. <laughs> I like this guy. <laughs> I have absolutely no idea who you are or why you are sick in my medical ward. Oh, oh, this, this is your, this is absolutely your medical woman. Well, it could be. <laughs> See, I like you, Reeb. I think you and me could do, could do great things together. He, like, the zombie shuffles over towards the desk. <laughs> I think, like, points out towards you. I think we could do great things together. <laughs> Great things. Oh. Reeb finally, I guess, has the gears turning in his head. I, he's just, it's, it's, it's a lot to take in, you know? It's a lot to take in. Cut him some slack. <laughs> oh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, what are the rest of you? <laughs> like, as this, this, this other entity has emerged from the group. Mm, great things like what? Get sick and become all pruney? I, 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 nothing wrong with being pruny. There's a big fucking pruny problem. Is that a lean over to up. Pi? <laughs> oh, good. Yeah. Yeah, I think that that's exactly what he means, Pi. Why? Why would you know? But, uh, because he's evil. Look at him. You can't look like that and not be evil. No, yes, Warren I know it's inefficient. He yeah. looks at his old man hands. And he looks at <laughs> Pi going, there's not a problem. D well, different pruny. <laughs> Different way but, being old is uh, different, but do you know when your flesh begins to decay and fail, I assume you'll do the grown up thing and become, you know, a sterling animate machine worshiper. Well, like I'm not hands. evil. Uh, he like up, hops up on the desk, but as he does so, his right leg under his knee rips off and just collapses onto the floor, and he looks down. Oh, yeah, gonna have to get that fixed. Anyways. Read, my boy. I, I, I want you to have all of this. I think, I think you do great with this. <laughs> Gentlemen, do you know who I'm talking to right now? No. No. Reeb will move next to him, but keep like you know six feet of distance, obviously for yeah, safety. Yeah, of course, of course. Uh, 
And he will motion to the lackadaisical zombie sitting on the desk. Gentlemen! It is so blatantly obvious! You know where we are, right? In general, not specifically. Uh, oh, boy. <laughs> I remember this in the old folks' home. Do, do you know what the webway intersects with? No. Not it's really. Not oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh. And like, like the zombie, like the zombie in the Hawaiian shirt is nodding, like, like again, big smile in his face. <laughs> I always did like you. You're the smart one. <laughs> uh, uh, this is absurd. Gentlemen, we're being, we're being tempted. By what? <laughs> Reeb's going to fucking scrunch his face up and said it. That, that Come on, thing? you can tell him. I like it when other people say my name. <laughs> he pats his belly. Uh, I don't even, I don't even know you that well. I'm Ordo Xenos for pity's sake. I shouldn't even know that much about you. Why, why is it that this seems to keep happening? Uh, well, gentlemen. Because you're all important. Very important. I know you're important. That's why I came here personally. None of my other siblings are going to come here personally. But me, I wanted to do this myself. <laughs> uh, gentlemen, you are speaking to a manifestation of the god of stagnancy, decay, and plague. Oh, you're too kind. <laughs> Don't forget life. <laughs> and joy. <laughs> right, indeed. Uh, Reeb is like mixed parts, extremely irritated and bemused, mostly because I'm amused by this. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. <sighs> well, That's absurd. So he's like everything you're against. From, for the... from a holistic standpoint, yes. I generally don't enjoy the suffering and stagnancy of decay that you seem to... Why am I even talking to you? I shouldn't be talking to you, but you're being very pleasant right now, and that's not something I'm afforded very often. Duh! That's because you're the best. You're the smartest. You're you're Reeb. <sighs> I see the potential in you. You do great things. No one else sees that, but I do. <laughs> That's not true. I haven't yeah. seen any other human being bring multiple people back, literally from death and dismemberment, like. Uh, yes, Reeb is very intelligent, so intelligent that his intellect is wasted on the very cool Inquisition, but not on the very much cooler Adeptus the Mechanicus. He would be an exemplary member of our order. Well, why, hey, why, why do you think I like him so much? He brings people back from the dead, just like I do. And he, like, with one hand, like, waves to to the, the like, resuscitated-ish church on your back, uh, Pi, and then waves to the plague zombies, like, filling the doorway, like they're the same thing. He's just like me. I love this guy. Yeah, he he's totally like you, with all the, the rotting flesh and... Desiccated viscera, yeah. But by the way, I I get you want him, but you you can't have him. He's my, he's ours. He's also my accountant. You can't have that. I need one. I love how you're all talking for Reap. <laughs> Reap's trying to think of how to broach this because he he's kind of getting already. Like, oh yeah, just fight your way out. That's a really good idea. It's like, oh, fuck. Uh, Listen, this is all very absurd. You, you have to... He's going to just very gingerly, like, extend out, like, a, a querying hand towards, I guess, Nurgle. <laughs> you have to recognize I mean, this is extremely absurd, don't you? What do you mean? <laughs> Reap's going to extend his hands to the entirety of the situation happening here. Motion to the Hawaiian shirt. Absolutely. <laughs> this is all very absurd. I have dealt with much in my travels, and apparently you've been watching me. One, very disturbing. Two, 
I, I have had a miserable time trying to keep this up. I will have you know. And for someone, for the literal embodiment of all of the things that I, as an Ordo Xenos individual, as well as an esteemed medical expert, have had to combat over the what feels like years since this operation has started, it's a little absurd. Well, you see, I liked you. I liked you right at that time your friend shot you. That, that was that was great. But then, then your friend set your lab on fire, and I thought to myself, now there's the chance. There's the chance I could talk to Reeb, the great Reeb Van Horn, and make him an offer. I mean, look at this place. Again, waves around with his, like, desiccated hands. This whole lab... This, all this can be yours, but you probably wonder, oh, well, just a lab. No, 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 no. It's a concept. Everything here is concepts. And I'm thinking big concept. I'm thinking you can solve, like, oh, gosh, a hundred plus diseases for the rest of your mortal lifespan. I'm not lying when I say you will save billions of lives. Billions of them. Maybe even more. Mm-hmm. Wait, but after that, back, you're going to come work with me. G you're going to sit moment. at my cauldron. You're going to learn with me. We're going to do great things together, Reeb. I have a question. You mentioned Absolutely. when my friend shot me and set my lab on fire. Lorne never shot me. Yeah, I was the only yeah. one to set his lab on fire. You I what? <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> oh, yeah, you you deal with this. And like, as he like stops looking at you and like leans down, like trying desperately to grab the foot that's fallen on the floor, so he can re. You 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 have this talk right now. You, you're good. You're good. Why? Well, 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 I thought you already knew. No. It you didn't accident. tell me you you were sitting on that you were sitting on the office lighter <laughs> and we sat there and I assumed it was Lorne's doing because he was sitting there pouring alcohol onto a fire for some blasted reason. No, the only you liquid sat I know. There. You no. assumed I will tell you what happened. Okay, I was, I wanted my new leg, Gamu was tormenting me. I went to go find the Mechanicum lady and uh, replace all machinery, but she did not have a right one, so I tried to close it and something broke. I forget exactly what happened afterwards, but trying to fix it caused a small fire. And as I went to go get a fire extinguisher, all of a sudden I was in a bar. And at first I thought, yes, Pi Brain escapes. Pi Brain gets away with it. But uh, 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 after a while, I realized that you might be very angry and upset. So I ran up with a fire extinguisher. And uh, then you were, uh, every second afterwards, you had been pretty uh, d depressed. Uh... <laughs> Yeah. Yes, uh, yeah. Erndil. I'm thinking here. I'm thinking. Cat and Zedek thinks it over relative. I was like, yeah, that, hey, that checks hey, out. Hey, Thurston, I'm gonna I'm gonna knock myself up a point of corruption. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I like it. Very good. Okay. And I'm just I'm just gonna narratively. Dec I'm gonna spend a wrath to give myself a point of corruption. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh man, you're channeling your inner Alpha Boots. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, we could just use this wrath die to get corrupted by chaos. Why the fuck didn't I think of that? <laughs> that was a wrong Wait. fucking campaign, boy. <laughs> Black Crusade. Okay. Um, you, you, you not only disobeyed my order to not bother the tech priestess, who I had spent this entire trip attempting to keep alive after being brutalized by her compatriots back on the wretched rattling planet, you also didn't even bother to notice she didn't have mechanical legs? And as you, in the exact moment you say that, there is a squelching sound as the Hawaiian shirt zombie re-puts the leg back on and then looks up, see? It's, it's that easy. Stretching it. I admit it was not my finest moment, and I know you are likely very angry and upset, and that is okay. But don't put that blame on any other one besides me, and don't let it let you side with 
smelly gray demon god. He's going to eat your soul and other, you know, other bad things also. I will deal with him. Ray will point without looking back towards the plague zombie sitting on the Hawaii. The Hawaiian zombie responds by giving you finger guns. One of the fingers falls off. I will deal with <laughs> him afterwards. I can deal with whatever is happening around us later because I feel as though my attention is directed towards you three repeatedly. Over and over, that could be, this is a routine thing that happens. I look around and there's an incredible, unusual thing happening. And almost every time I find my attention returning to you three, for some reason. You can see a vein is, uh, is starting to appear on the side of his head. <laughs> Beautiful. Well, that is because we are companions and we travel together because we are friends. We landed on the planet after receiving a bunch of support from some wretched backwater, backwater hive city that gave every guardsman on the planet fighting orcs cakes and sausages. That was... Because I didn't bother to check the manifest. Do you know why I didn't bother to check the manifest? Why? Because I was doing your... Pointing at Zedek. Accounting! Damn. Yeah, but we're all One in this together, Reeb. But what if you did the accounting, would you also see what's in the manifest area? No, Lorne, because we do not account for that material. It's not Zedek's property. Wait, no, you can't blame Zedek for this. I understand you being very angry at me, but it was those fools at the head of the crusade fleet that gave us the wrong stuff. Maybe we could have caught it, but we still would have had to deliver it. And by the time we landed, we were already under attack. It's the fucker beast fault who's been working with that thing. Yes, because we're chasing some insane what? psyche halfway across the galaxy. Oh, I, I, p p point of disorder here. Um, just so you know, I'm, I'm not with that to fuck with me guy. He just, that guy's a fucking asshole. No, <laughs> yeah, no. fuck that guy. We yeah, agree with right. each other. I we both high, high, high five now, Nurgle. But... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> um, please uh, give me a conviction test. Okay, okay so <laughs> give me a second. <laughs> I have to, I have to bring up my my character sheet. Hold up. <laughs> yeah. Also, so you get I, it. Just, <laughs> yes. I just realized something. Yes. Uh, so I'll give you that the test after uh, chat gets blinded for a second. Uh, yeah, it, it was oh, just no. roll conviction test. I'll just say it out yeah. loud as I fix the thing. Okay. All right. Uh, roll the thing. I believe in mm -hmm. you. Blind him. Uh huh. I believe in you. Roll a conviction test for high-fiving Nurkle. See, this is the session you come here <laughs> for. <laughs> oh, wow. Actually, you've got a really good conviction. Surprising. Could you, uh, could you sign Lauren back to me? <laughs> Can I have oh, gosh? That's character. right. I, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. My, yeah. It did. Yeah, I, I, I did a goof. I did a goof. Okay. Oh, no. He uh, deleted it's reassigned to you. Or should be now. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Oh, you locked in as were you locked in as the GM? It doesn't. Okay, so founder doesn't allow you to do a player thing. So I'm just here like ah, ah I'm gonna see everything. Uh. Ah, no. The My bad. Just far future. Uh, very good. Uh, it's in the combat tab. Yeah. Uh, Lone got uh, a three. You uh, you gain a point of corruption. <laughs> <laughs> I, like I could have told too, you nothing. But I like you best, Reeb. Anyways, go back to your family squabble. Yes, we'll get to you in just a moment. It is because I have been assigned to this position by my own dear Inquisitor Harlan that I have had my... that I have had my progress stymied. Because at every turn we seem to run flat up against a wall. Nose broken, eyes scattered. Something stupid happens and everything suddenly grinds to a bloody halt. 
I grow weary of it. I am oh so very weary of sitting in a dilapidated, rotting ship. Oh. Blech. And he will collapse onto the floor and just sit. I know. Wouldn't a kick-ass lab be much better? Look at this place. It's like the worst car salesman. Oh, yes, absolutely. <laughs> no, I know you're like, like, like he slaps the desk. There's the squelching of his hand, like. <laughs> now listen, buddy. I know your entire family is a piece of shit, but listen, what if I could buy sell you of this worm? <laughs> You want it? It's pretty cool. <laughs> this zombie fat Albert car salesman. Yes, uh, exactly. I, I got this dead flower pot. It is It is the equivalent to, for anyone who can possibly get this reference, it is the equivalent of being on the Ion Storm team that was responsible for Deus Ex and then being told you're being transferred to the one that makes Dai Katana. Hell yeah. Oh. oh. Sad. Mm. That, that's a deep cut, sir. Yeah. <laughs> And, and, and yeah, so so Reeb, you sit on the floor, and yeah, the the Hawaiian shirt zombie just is like, oh, great lab, huh? Cat and Zedek will walk over and sit down next to Reeb. And I'm sorry, no, he'll, he'll squat. He'll do a he'll do a slow squat. You know, Reeb, the stinky, sassy, smelly god, I guess, he's not wrong. This this lab is pretty. Very nice. And I empathize with you. If if I had to do my own accounting, well, I, I would hate me too. And boy, howdy, do I hate myself. But we have all been dealt a raw hand, some rawer than others, and I especially feel for you being the most competent among us. But wouldn't it be nice just to get through this one last haul and rake it in the big time as... Even more legendary heroes to get that lab you wanted. Heck, we could, we could get everything spruced up. We could make that lab on deck, the deck collector not on fire, and well, hell, we could get you something better. I'm just asking you to to bear with us a little bit more and not to actually listen to him. Please don't actually, and we can't afford to let the one person who can keep us alive. Reeb's like pinching his eyebrow, re really trying to find a vent for the stress that he has just now unleashed in the tidal wave. Uh, tiresome. He's going to start getting to his feet. All right, put this on hold for a moment. He's going to hold up a finger to the rest of the, the party and he's going to turn back to Nurgle, I guess. Nurgle, the I guess. shirted zombie, like, continues to have arms wide. Gentlemen, wait for me over by that door. And, and are you sure, Reeb? Yes, quite certain. I'm going uh, to have make, make room, make room. Out of the way. And like, like the, the Hawaiian shirt zombie like motions with hands. And the, the, the zombies at the door start shuffling to fill up the sides and have a path by the door. Mm -hmm. uh, worried, look, uh, Lauren will paddle away. Yeah, I think I think we'll uh, follow his wishes. Zedek will start walking towards the group as well. Okay. The Hawaiian shirt zombie has the widest of smiles right now. <laughs> yes, yes. I'm Zedek going. Like to... oh, I'm sorry to cut you off. No, go, no, speak. Go ahead. Say real quick. Zedek will turn back as he heads back to the rest of the group and pipe up. Oh, and and Reeb. Mm. Thank you for being the competent one. I tried to hmm. he will nod at that and return his attention back to the the, the Hawaiian shirt zombie uh, the Hawaiian shirt zombie is like <laughs> that was beautiful I'm going to make you lightly upset <laughs> okay but hear me out because I believe we can come to an agreement later. I need to see this trip out. I fully intend to, despite my irritation and frustration and violent irritation with these people. I will see this through 
and I will see how far I can get. This runs counter to everything that you stand for. We can say we're compatible all you want. You are a chaos god. I am a mortal man. And while our paths cross in this one instance, you have to recognize that I am already, uh, how can I put this, spoken for? That makes sense at all? No, no, no. Don't take it so hard because I'm going to suggest something here. If you may, perhaps try again later. See how it goes. <laughs> and there's just this like belly aching laugh. Ah, 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 hard bugger, I knew I liked you. You know, I come at you and you just disgustingly resilient that off. I'll come again. Oh, oh, oh yes, Reem. You and me, we have a story to tell that's gonna go through the stars. You and me, Reem. You and me. Oh, don't put any money on it. <laughs> Whatever you qualify money as. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you and your friends are free to go. Just watch out. My siblings aren't here, but they sent some of their people. Ah, <laughs> oh, Reeve, you left the door open. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> Listen, I'm going to try my damnedest to resist, but I know at this point, given I'm very tired and very frustrated, that... Trying to fight it off at all hours is going to be a pain. But right now I have business to attend to, and, uh... And, uh, whoop. Tend to do. Yes. All right. Well. I'll let you go. And you, you make sure to stop that to fucker be. I don't like what he's got planned. Doesn't work with what I've got planned. <laughs> Well, as much as I'm loath to assist a Chaos God in anything... <laughs> oh, you've helped me enough. <laughs> Keep helping me. <laughs> yeah, this will be entertaining. Very well. Another time, perhaps. Another time. <laughs> and, like, this continual, like, raucous laughter. We will move towards the parted zombies and usher everyone else forward. And like as you you walk, there's just like the bellowing laughter of of the the Hawaiian shirt zombie. The ha 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 ha, and then the door opens to reveal the the strange, utterly alien space beyond the continuing the the pathway that you had been walking previously. And like with that, Rabe, you kind of walk past your companions and step back on the path. Gentlemen, I believe we have places to be. Reem, you, you resisted! I wouldn't quite say that. I merely gave him a rain check. You did, you went there, did what? It, it... What? It's not the issue right now. We have better things to focus on. Okay, you, wait, 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 wait! Did you just sign up with a Chaos God? I didn't sign up for anything, Pi. I merely said to try again later, as I'm currently very busy. Figured it was the most efficient way, rather than outright declining, wherein we would have to have no mm. doubt fought a massive pile of plague zombies to escape and go back to doing what we're supposed to be doing. Oh, I, I see what you did, Rave. Oh, I see what you did. It's a trick. See, when he's back with all his inquisitorial buddies one day, and he comes knocking at the door, they'll be ready for him. That's very theory. smart of you, Reeb. In theory, anyway. Uh, I don't have time to worry about that right now. Master plan. Master plan. Uh, I guess. Uh. And you continue walking in the, the strange, like, liminal space here that shouldn't exist, and everything, in, like, in the distance is weird, psychedelic, like, droplets of energy transfusing, and yet you find yourselves walking on some clear pathway through this, continually moving ahead. <sighs> so does it... is it supposed to be just 
like this the entire time? Does it get any better, or...? You're asking the wrong man, Zedek. I believe if we had any idea, we could have likely asked him back there. You know, if we felt so inclined. Yeah, but should we... Do we really want to trust a, a chaos god? Doesn't seem advisable, but... Well, if we find the blue one coming up next, we definitely shouldn't ask. Blue one? Oh, for goodness sake. You have to remember, I, I am very much inured to this kind of thing, Reeb. If you see birds that are not crows, yes. Do not listen to it. I have a feeling we're going to, if this is indeed a gamut of everything we're going to be wandering through just now, then yes, I do believe we will encounter this individual. Which is going to be ever so fun. Uh -huh. Reeb. Yes, bye. What are all of the uh, uh, chaos gods? I am not very familiar with them. That is forbidden knowledge for my order. Neither am I. You must understand, my information comes from the Inquisition, and if I am not a member of the Order Hereticus or Order Malleus, it is not my... How can I put this? It is not my business to know everything. I'm just very nosy. Oh, well, maybe I could help. Hi! Oh, and you hear this voice yeah. coming off of Pi's Pi Brain's back as Church's face looks up with kind of like a strange smile. Hi! Oh. Hello, are you demon? Um, well, yeah. I We've re met before. Break Church's neck. <laughs> oh, okay. Make, make <laughs> oh, no, I just, I'm <laughs> reaching slowly to do it. I'm not doing it just yet. Wait! Hi. Are you what? Sean? Ah, uh, I'm glad you remembered me. Why? You were so busy fighting that thing before. And then in the palace with that, with that, the weird walls. Yeah, yeah, hi, hi. I saw you in here, so I thought I'd come visit. This body wasn't really occupied, so. It's no, that's good to know. Right? Oh, poor Charge. Oh. That's unfortunate. Or anyway, hello, vile demon. What do you want? I just heard you talking, and I thought I'd I thought I'd pop in. Is that so? You, well, just you were asking about 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 the, the the great powers of the warp, and I thought you know I could help. You help me, I help you. Oh, for fuck's sake! Do you uh, I live here? Uh, I would. It's a pretty nice space, actually. Yeah. Well, warp entity. Perhaps Thank you can Thank you us. very much for remembering. Mm, yes. Unfortunately, I do not have a brain like a sieve, so I must remember basically everything. In any case, we must get some information on the remaining two individuals. I know only of the wretched, slanish individual, as well as my supposed arch nemesis, who is not really particularly nemesis or arch. No, go. The remaining two. Please, anything you could give on information regarding them it would be appreciated. Oh, well, yeah. You've got a um, pretty powerful servant of the Lord of Rage. Really powerful, in fact, like very powerful. Um, it's kind of always angry, like always shouting and screaming and angry and just very angry. Um, so, so, so they're waiting for you up ahead. Uh, and then after that, there's um, the other one. Terrific. That's you have been good. very helpful. Well, rage definitely narrows it down. Yes, that is clearly Lorne's challenge. Quiet. Yeah, I'll blast him immediately. Yeah, Lorne, you're always screaming at people and attacking them. Not like, yeah. uh, when, you know, and birds. I, I like birds. They're fine, I guess. I don't like birds. Yeah, you see. Flying rats, they, they are. But yeah, well, yeah. I mean, you know, honestly, all animals are kind of stupid. Yeah. But they are Sean, kind of... I have a question. Yeah. Are they being stupid right now? Oh, yes. It's quite funny to watch you. Yeah, like, bubbling your way through our realm. I think you're going to make it out, though, because they want you to. They're kidding me. They tried what? to keep... Z they, tried, they tried to keep Zedek just now. Well, not yeah, just now, that's Zedek. 
Reeb will actually laugh at that. <laughs> he'll, he'll just go. <laughs> what? I'm I'm not good enough to be left alive as a pawn in some grand god scheme, but well, oh, you would have been them. left alive. Oh, yeah. You wouldn't have liked your life though, but I don't be like. Glad it now. you got out when you did. Ooh, wow, it's a. Uh, we're getting deep into your psyche here. Uh, oh, Shut this the is fuck up, Sean. Okay. <laughs> Sean living inside of the fuck woman. Tell us more details. What would have happened to Zedek if he had accepted the weird dad moment? Well, um, he would be someone else's property right now. Oh, he would have been more more corrupted. But what, what, what does that mean? Well, what it means is, and then like the, the sensor sound just starts playing for like five <laughs> minutes as Sean is like, <laughs> as he explains something that rends all of your minds. Uh, can each of you give me a resolve test? As yeah, sure. Explains what would happen. <laughs> hey. hey guys, I'm going to pull all the glory. <laughs> <laughs> Lord Thank got you. four successes. Rape is now highly impulsive. Zedek got two successes and a failure. I got five successes. Pi is not cool enough to roll dice, apparently. Rule. No. Oh Please, our machine. Uh, do you want me to roll for you, Pi Brain? Please do. I, I think I'm rolling six dice because I'm adding to my resolve because of rank, or is that that determination? No, in that case, that's I'm just determination. Rolling You're rolling okay. three. I got okay. you. Bam. Oh, okay, yeah, you, did no, you get three. And you got a you got a wrath critical too. Mm, so you, you, got, you got a point of glory for the group. Um, oh my! Like everyone's like nodding, like mm, yes, it's except like Zedek, who is just horrified as he hears the fate that would have befallen him. The fate of a guardsman. <laughs> The fa yeah, the fate of a guardsman in Slanish's palace. Um, and uh, yeah, then it stops, and like Zedek, you feel absolutely like sick to your stomach. He's just like staring off into space with like a half smile. You know that picture like Lisa I send every now and then, just like dead eyed staring down at the table in exasperation. It's like that. He's oh, just, yeah, he's that's gone. basically what was going to happen. Oh, that's a lot better than I thought it was going to be. Anyways, you avoided that, so you did pretty good. He's just speechless. He's still he's still staring off in his face. <sighs> well, so maybe. you said the rageful one is up next, yes? Mm-hmm. Right through there, and like Church's hand kind of strangely like lifts up and points forward, and you can see along the path like the other strange like the wood door and the. Um, kind of bulkhead instead there's what appears to be like a circular hatch that's on the the the, the non-existent ground in front of you uh like has sort of a valve on it to be turned to open well well good luck yes perhaps this is not the last time we'll see you no doubt and like the body collapses back down <laughs> they they were they were gonna when the when the when the when the, when the war happened. No, suck it up, you're past it. They were gonna do things, Reeb. I'm really. Yes, we all heard. Uh, and as no. you approach uh, this, this like entry port, uh, you see stamped on it is the symbol of Forge World Lemuria. All right, you're up. I'm gonna shove <laughs> that forward. Your time. Good luck. Better up. Okay. Um. Hi, hold man. on. Is there something maybe you know, like touching base and just you know, kind of working it out? I mean, Get I'm in. going. Ah, fine. All right. All right. I'm gonna get really mad. And Let me see your sword. What? No, it's mine. And I don't want your sword. Let me see it. No. Oh, well, I guess you don't want an awesome, glowy death sword, then. It even grows more. Okay, fine, I don't want that. I hand my sword over. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now just present it. Uh, so I want to make a narrative declaration to do some Absolutely. warpy bullshit to him. 
Uh, you're in the warp, so now is absolutely the time to do warpy bullshit. So, Lauren basically places his hand upon Pybring's sword and and mm-hmm. would say, like, you must chance after me, Pybring. Uh, okay, I will try this. Actually, no, I think the entire me do better if you tell me your Lemurian war chant, and we shall imbue your sword with all the glory of your world. Mm. Yes, the Lemurian war chants, an ancient and esoteric thing. Mm. Just dialogue Very- noises. <laughs> <Just>. <laughs> <laughs> Very well. All repeat after me. Lauren's like, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> He's just making mouth noises. And it's yeah, like, just... like, like, no, that's the wrong, wrong pitch. <laughs> Gentlemen, okay. please do something. He's like, I am doing something. Like, this, this takes, yeah, join in the chat, Reed. Be a cool oh. guy. <laughs> <laughs> So, so everyone, I presume, okay. is just going to, yeah. Look at Lauren and Pi are sit in a circle, going for two minutes mm-hmm. until Pi suddenly punctuates with, "As we go marching to John." Okay. <laughs> okay. So I'm, I'm gonna do a second. Ma- I guess to do a second match to basically like make his power sword like godly to where it is basically like if he hits something, it's just like explosion of energy kind of deal. Absolutely. Give me a psychic mastery test here. Uh, I got uh, six successes. Oh uh, yeah, you've you've got enough to like. You're not sure if it's like gonna blow up a god or like something super powerful, but it's it's got like warp energy, like barely contained in it. Right uh-huh. there you go. This is crackling with a shit ton of energy and everything going. Whatever you meet from side of there, you should be able to. And it should enhance your chances if, you, if battle comes for it. But we'll be with you as much as we can. Yes, excellent. Mm. Engage the linkage of Nessia! And I'm going to begin turning this door with my huge strength. Can you open it? It is the question for the ages. Can you? Can you? Uh, give me a strength test, actually. Okay, sure. Yeah. Wow, I love it. Yes. Does Pi is open door? Does Pi is open door? Can Pi open door? Let's 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 pray. <laughs> let's let us let us pray. Um That is oh one <laughs> success and five failures and a complication. And a complication. How bad too. could it possibly be? Well, you know, it could it could be a thing. Let's find out what the thing is here. Um, okay, so you're you're going to um, you're, you're going to try to to open it, and and you manage to you you, you do um, absolutely manage to open it, um, but <sighs> okay, um, you you manage to open it, but like there is some kind of like crack as you do so as um you feel one of your like one of your fingers is like severely injured as part of this uh and i will take from uh from one of our patrons uh dr lugash entitled ouchie boo boo on my fingy um mm-hmm. <laughs> and um basically the ouchie boo uh, ouchie booby boo boo will uh will persist uh until you uh you have someone like medicaid or uh leadership to uh to fix your 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 wounded finger ah, there is an ouchie boo boo on my fingy uh pie, a- again again this is not how it should work. I should feel no pain. And then, as you say that, you, you fall into the hatch that you. Ah! <laughs> yeah, there you go. I like trip. I'm getting so angry. I'm just stopping around. Absolutely. <laughs> and, and like after this, I assume the rest of you like follow down. 
Um, yeah. Eventually entering into like a, a metal room, sort of square shaped with uh, various connecting tunnels, and you you see these sort of glass lined tunnels that connect uh, and going in either direction. And beyond the glass, you can see that you are underwater, and that there's all sorts of aquatic, shadowy life moving around. And immediately, Pybrain, you know that you are in one of the the subaquatic forge complexes of Lemuria. Mm, yes, this is very, oh, very good! Back in Lemuria, this is the good part of the uh, hallucination where everything is really cool. Uh, look at there! That, that's one of our Lemurian ballast tanks! And, uh, yes, all around us, these artificial creatures created in the dark labs. Uh, oh, it's so exciting to be back home, even if it is a terrible hallucination. He wasn't kidding. This place really is underwater. Oh, yes. yes. And more than likely, we are not yet on the darkest levels. You see, further down you go in Lemuria, the more access and prestige you have. I am excited to finally return as a full-on tech priest and fully explore the lowest depths. You, you do realize this is not based on reality, right, Pai? Well, no, it is based on a reality. It just is it's not actually for real life. It's like a dream, Pi. It's probably not going to be accurate. No, I, no, my dreams are always accurate to the T. Do you dream? Yes, often of electric sheep, which are, in, coincidentally, in Lemuria, they are also aquatic and highly dangerous. Awesome. Right. <laughs> they are a kind of eel that, <laughs> and I assume, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> as something, like, seems to hit the glass, and you see this, this immense, tendril sort of recoil back as though it had just like lightly tapped the glass and then pulled back the the very very distant touch of a lemurian hell squid uh, well that is not good <clears throat> so how bad are these things exactly pi oh they're not that bad they're actually terrible they're way worse uh, but nevertheless, it is my duty to kill them, as I am a Skitarius, and we often test new experimental technologies on them, and how best to deatomize them. Perhaps there is one around here. Uh, nevertheless, let us proceed forward before he opens the floodgates and kills you. You all, I'll be fine. <sighs> Thank you. Of that course, really... certainly, why not? That reassures me. Thank you, Pi. You are very welcome, my friend, and we will proceed forward. Yeah, so you start walking down the halls, and again, the whole time you're sort of hearing this <laughs> as something seems to be like hitting the side of the structure. Uh, you can see that the place in here is lined with corpses of Skatari, Lemurian Skatari, who have been shot, um, knocked down, slain in combat, pieces of them thrown all over the place from a variety of different weapons. It look, look, looks like some sort of massacre has occurred here. Uh, this is very abnormal. The Skitari would not be left here. They would be brought back to reclaim their augments. In this dream realm, has Lemuria been invaded? I will kill whoever did this for the mere insinuation. <laughs> you stop that! I'm going to keep chasing the uh, the signs of the... Uh, uh, and like as you as you like rush forward towards it, um, kind of trailing near the back of the group, Zedek, uh, you hear something. You hear it sort of in the back of your skull. Do you want it? Do you want them? Do you want the power? Do it, what? No. What? What? Do I want what? You gotta be more power specific. To kill, the power to destroy. The power to conquer. The power to war. I mean, I kind of have. Most of those already voiced in my head. And like Lauren and uh, Reeb, you, you would see Zedek talking to himself and saying these things. Zedek, Zedek, you okay there, buddy? I think so. Sick? I think yeah. I think something's talking to me, but I don't know what. It's definitely not me. Uh, yeah. Ever since you saw those tentacles, you've been acting really weird. Voice in my head, I think I might reconsider. 
Uh, Do you want them? Do you want the Legion? Do you want them to serve you? Does respect come with serve? They will fight Zedek, for you. They will to fight Zedek. every Zedek. battle. Zedek! Zedek! <laughs> Just slapping Zedek. <laughs> yeah, and then Zedek kind of like comes back to consciousness. Uh, ah. oh, How you doing, Zedek? Anyway. Talking to the guy in my head, making an offer. It's not making a very good offer, but... Zedek? Who's talking to you in your brain place? Is he making your know. brain smooth again? That, n no, my brain's not smooth. It has very oh. wrinkle. I don't but know who's Zedek. talking to me, but they, he's just offering, like, power and fucking killing people. I don't I don't need that. I've, I've got a ship with, with big cannons. You must big resist. Cannons. Zedek. I'm sick of that. You must resist the temptation. Mort, Mort, stop. Lorne. Lorne Lorn. Barnes. And the voice is in the back of your head now, Lorne. Shut Do up. you want the Legion? They could claim all of Fenris hey, for you. Hey, you fuck could be off. I'm having a conversation. Warlord. Now yeah, Zedek. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> now Zedek. See, he's talking to you too. My... Yeah, yeah, and I told him to fuck off. What's your excuse? You're shaking me, that's why. Well, shake me too. Well, balance okay. out the evil. <laughs> Zedek just starts shaking Lauren back. We're just vibrating back and forth, just going like... Uh. <laughs> like, Reeb is probably standing beside this, and, like, Pybrain has trucked on forward, probably, like, eventually realizes after quite some time that his allies have stopped. <laughs> I don't know if Pi would realize this. That's fair. That's fair. <laughs> that would be a perception check. It would be quite, be quite very much like Pi to not pay attention yeah. to his companions. It's, it's true. It's true. Yeah, Pi, Pi is Pi has got Pi is on the warpath. He wants to find whoever whoever did this massacre. Even in the dream world, he's upset about it. So. We're using we're, we're using uh, Nightmare on Elm Street three. Yeah, exactly. Theory. Okay. We're, oh, uh, the dream warriors. <laughs> Where the fuck is my perception stat? Oh God. <laughs> What year is it? What day is it? What uh, is uh, life? What is life? I've got persuasion. Will that do? What the <laughs> life? Oh my gosh, do you need me to click? Awareness. 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 The, sorry. I awareness. Gosh, I'm playing yeah. different games. Ignore it's okay. It's okay. Okay, there we go. A four. Cool. Um, yeah, yeah, okay, okay. So so after a while, like, like you're not too far ahead when you, like, realize, like, wait a second, like, you're, you're trying to listen for footsteps and tracks, and you've been, like, tuning out your allies, but you realize that your allies' sounds have stopped. And you can kind of turn to see, like, at the far end of the tunnel, um, like, yeah, they, they've stopped at, like, Reeb and Zedek are having this, or sorry, um, Zedek and Lorne are having this discussion. Oh. Reeb's trying not to pay attention to what's happening. I'm going to turn over to the two of them. <laughs> what are you two talking about? Are you having a stupid voice in your heads? Yes, they are. <laughs> Reeb, uh, da, um, hit them, uh. What? I don't know. Maybe it will help. Oh. Reeb Van Horn. Oh, do you quiet. Want them? The power, the great weapons, the ability to make war across a hundred worlds, the legion you can command. Reeb's gonna throw his brow at this. You know I damn well don't want that. Talk to talk to the green one. Uh -huh. They're talking to you. Yes. Mm. I'm going to look around and just see, are there, is there anyone coming? Is there anything coming? I'm kind of scanning my horizons, and I am vaguely suspicious of my allies right now. Absolutely, absolutely. So you're kind of, like, looking around and trying to figure out what's going on. Mm -hmm. Um yeah like like your allies like uh, so so let's get let's go back to uh lorne and zedek like how's that conversation going less of a conversation more of us just vi like making throat sounds yeah. <laughs> <laughs> i guess this is every time we talk we're just all like zedek we made that stop shaking each other and get out of the back to my brain i know but we can stop shaking each other because the demon's gonna talk to us again lord wait zedek i have an amazing idea all right let me hear it lord think of the most annoying song in your head that will make him it's... fuck off hmm. 
Lauren okay, stops wait, wait. and starts humming doop doop do it up do it up boop boo and just 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 strolls down up to Pi. Yeah, so you get to Pi like who's kind of in the middle of this uh this connecting uh glass hallway. What is the voice in your head saying, Lauren and others? I can't hear him, uh, because she's currently being drowned out by uh a guy named Rick and also Doop. That is it's, insane. Good. It, it, it's talking about having a legion to conquer the galaxy. Please, silence. This is not helpful. Everyone knows you can't conquer the galaxy with a single legion. It, it's not my business. I don't damn well care. Well, if you wanted to conquer the galaxy, you would need more than a legion. You would need a powerful, cunning warrior warlord at the head of that legion. One whose fury and wisdom and might outscaled that of the planet. As you're saying this, Pi, there is a shadow that is falling over the tunnel as something (laughs) immense covers, like, behind you, um, the the, the sort of, like, outside area, the, the the sea, which has some kind of light coming down from the surface, darkens as this titanic form comes up behind you, and the rest of you, as Pyre speaking, see, like, teeth rows upon rows of sharpened knife-like teeth that appear, lights from the, the facility glinting off of them as some kind of mouth the size of perhaps a small titan opens up and, like, then closes slightly. Hi. Oh, yes. About the hell squib. Mm-hmm. I'll turn around. It doesn't look like that, does it? Do I see this enormous, horrible? Mouth? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And like, as you've turned, it's like mouth opens once again, and you hear the rumbling. Though it's not necessarily a rumbling of the facility, because the facility is near it. It's like a rumbling in the back of your mind. This. <sighs> Which the uh, the other three recognize as the the voice that was talking to them, just in like a kind of like dark uh, bass guttural sound that it's em- emitting. And this time, all of you hear it. Reeb Van Horn, Lorne Barnes, Captain Zedek, which of you wants the Legion to conquer all? And as it says this, like, marching in strangely uniformed lines underneath its shadow along the um, the floor of, of the sea, uh, these, like, yeah, this, this mass of maybe a hundred in perfect line soldiers appear. They appear to be Skatari like figures with strange protrusions from their helmets and strange weapons and metallic claws and like somehow despite being underwater blood stains mar their metal. (laughs) You fool! What have you done to them? I offer power to them. And uh, how about we take our break here? Yeah. No, yeah. Hey, everybody. We're going to take Sounds a little brookie good. break. I want to say thanks to the folks who've been you know, helping us out on the channel and stuff. And we will be right back. Yeah. Wow. And we're back. back. We are Welcome back. back, everyone. We were getting land blasted by... Uh, by bloody doom guys uh yeah i believe we had left off with a legion of uh bloody demonic skatari troops uh marching on the uh, the bottom of the sea uh lining up before our heroes who are inside like some kind of air protected hallway looking out and looming above the legions of uh demonic skatari is a immense uh, squid like shadow entity that is offering this legion to either uh lorne reeb or zedek reeb is ignoring him he's being very passive aggressive right now what? What have you done to these Skitari? 
They are the greatest legion. They are the greatest fighters. And now we will offer them. We will offer them to the three to see if they will take it, if they will fight. You are a fool. My companions will never accept your warped demonic legions. They are not even... Your warped Skitaria! You should know this. Why are you taunting me? What do you mean, taunting you? You are of no consequence to us. You are our servant in all but title already. I do not follow you and your warped demon ways. Name yourself! But you do. You kill, you maim, and you burn. You do so in our honor without even knowing it. Thus we have nothing to tempt you with, for you do what we need you to do already. You are wrong. I am a warrior of the Fort World Lemuria. Yes, who will kill anything without provocation, without thinking. You will even turn on your own allies when it suits you. We have no need of a servant like you, for you are already our servant. I am not your servant, and I am not the indiscriminate. I worship the motive force. They see all things reconstituted. Anything I slay will not remain dead unlike you, demonic horde. I see. What of those you have slain on the captain's ship? Those fools were causing problems. Causing problems. And then you turned your own weapon against your allies so readily. You, you fill the seas of blood. You offer skulls without knowing you offer skulls. You are wrong. I, I do these things for a reason. This is why I was given the promotion to Tech Priest of Lemuria. I am not some mindless warrior. <laughs> you are no priest. You are a warrior sent away for being too murderous. You are sent to serve with other castaways. <laughs> no, this is a great honor. An honor under the Primarch. You don't know what you're talking about. But I have no need to talk to you, for you do our work already. But Reeb, Lorne, Zedek, you could have this power. You could have this legion. And like, at once, all of the Skitari raise up their, like, demonic rifles. Uh, I have no need for a tide of violent mechanical fools. Keep them for yourself. Are you not at all tempted? You could lay waste to Tafakrabi. Any world you need could be yours in an instant. Uh, if I'm going to do that, I'll do it my damn self. I don't need a gimme. And Hi. If you could have already promised that, you've already done it already. I have no need for this. I'm tired of leading armies. What? What? <laughs> The deep Lorne lore. <laughs> we will turn to Lorne at that and be like, what? Yeah. Back to finish, I led many a raid. We remember you. So bloody. But another wants you. Another wishes to claim you, Lorne Barnes. But we would offer you this gift first. Nah, I don't need it. I've already done it. Like that time is over. And there's nothing you can offer to me, demon. It would be even close to making me tempted. This legion could be yours. Captain Zedek, you truly wish to be a force with this. You 
Oh, yeah, yeah oh, sp God. spooky, spooky demon god. I, hold that thought. Pi, what did what did it mean by killing people on the deck collector? Your stupid workers! <laughs> My stupid workers! Your imbeciles that you keep poorly fed and rabbleless. Yes, yes, Zedic. I've gone into your depths and I found them. They're roving gangs at first, and I have sharpened my blades on them. And I did it at first to 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 help your ship, to help clean it of this this terrible infestation of what I thought was an abnormality. But in truth, it was you. It was you and your poor works with ship and control over your people. Uh, to yeah, investigator is, Lorne. And it's basically Lorne will come up to Zedek and put his hand on his shoulder going, yeah, I knew it was him all, the entire time. I, I, then I put why didn't you fucking stop him, You Lorne. totally didn't! <laughs> <laughs> you you <laughs> totally <laughs> did it up! You no, mean no, to no. tell me we had a glut of court starch, not because they were killing each other, but because you were mulching them in the lower decks. And you're welcome. Hi, I can forgive getting rid of the the gangs, the, the the undesirables that we would have had to take care of anyway. But but just killing random people indiscriminately, I thought better of you than that. Not blood, random people. Blood for the blood god. No, you shut up. It is mulch for the mulcher. There's no blood. It doesn't go into the corpse starch. It's not nutritious. I didn't kill anyone randomly. I killed those that were uh, mm, disreputable. I killed the gangers and the people that would make fun of me when I would go down and ask people if they wanted help. And, and, and it was, mm, I didn't do anything wrong. Pi. You, why? You didn't have to kill them because they insulted you. Well, it's not as though I can convince people that what I'm doing is 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 worthwhile. It's not as though I can convince people that I am the great pie brain through action. For clearly, even the squid is unimpressed. But pie, you've you've impressed me. You've saved my skin countless times. Not through the killing of my crew members. We're going to have to have a talk about that. But you have done a great deal. You may... I do not buy into some of the things you say about yourself, most of the self-aggrandizing, but you're still a very competent Skitari and one of the few people I would consider I a friend. I am not a Skitari! Not anymore! I've told you! I've told all of you this! I'm... I was... I was offered the chance to be something greater, and they never gave it to me! And everyone I meet is so convinced that it's all a lie. Well, if it's a lie, it's one you're living to. Guy, This is not that hard to reconcile. Just because you were passed over doesn't mean you need to assert yourself as something I wasn't enough. passed over! I was never passed over! Do you understand? I would have lived my entire life happily as a Skitari, but that's not what they told me. They never told me that they didn't want me as a Skitari. They told me that they were offering me the thing that all Skitari yearn for, a chance to join the cult mechanicus. I had served on countless battles. I had killed constant foes. I have kept our yes. secrets and even yes. our dealings with those that... I have done much for my first world, and I would do much more. And yet, yet I come here, I come here ill-prepared amidst people that constantly disappoint and, and, and disregard me. You think I'm some kind of witless murderer? Well, then maybe, maybe I should show you what a witless murderer looks like, because that is not what I've ever been. Uh, yeah. Pyron, Pyron. Pyron. I, sorry, I wanted to. I wanted to make a roll here. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Or, or speaker. Of course. Uh, Reeb's gonna roll a persuasion at you. <laughs> I love it. 
Uh, can I can I take two from the glory pool? Uh, yeah. Yeah. I guess. Pie, if you wish us to believe you more than a witless murderer, perhaps you should start acting like it. <laughs> tough love, tough persuasion. I'm and going to reroll that. Actually, <laughs> oh my God. Uh, that's your Please last breath. Oh no, my death. All right, how do I reroll that again? I just roll it again. Oh, okay. I, I just roll the. Like well, no, you take the one. Oh, roll the yeah. failures. Sorry. Yes, roll sixty-six, six. and we'll do yeah. that. Roll. Ooh. Uh, that adds two more. So f two five successes. and a complication. Five successes and a complication. Okay. Um, I, I'm going to have Pi Brain roll. Oh, gosh. I'm going to have Pi Brain roll a willpower test, please. Okay. Do I get any addition of that? No. I don't think I can pass it. Uh, I want you to roll with power. That's very good. You want to just have roll 3d6 for him? Oh, yeah. Oh you God, did it not go through? No. Uh, you're not even showing up as in. Oh, so I will roll I mean, it for you. Yeah, yes. By all means. So sorry. Uh, okay, so you get four successes and one failure. I am going to spend a rune point to re-roll one of Pi's d6s. Oh, how kind! Yeah, you know. How oh, kind! Get him! Alright, we're okay. tied. Oh, Ritzfist apparently rolled. Ritzfist did Alright, now I was gonna show you! I'll take the lead! <laughs> uh, I mean, we're even. Absolutely. So, like, obviously, like, like the, 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 the narrative here is, like, Pi is kind of having a almost out of, like, his regular character experience. He's kind of having this, like, amazing rage moment. Um, yeah, normally you can't use social skills against them, but this is, like, this is Reeb reaching out. This is, like, this is a moment of, like, trying trying to utilize the abilities to pull him back. And, and Reeb, Reeb, you, you do. You do manage to... To, to pull Pi Brain back a little bit um, in into that like that slightly sane, slightly like okay things aren't quite as terrible as they are. However, um, however, uh, he does like as part of like you reaching him like Reem is or Pi Brain is kind of like angry and as a complication he is going to make a. Um, an attack against you, not with his like power weapon or anything like that, mm -hmm. but like he's going to try to backhand you. So I am okay. going to roll, roll that on arm check. I am. Uh, wow, he crits oh, you with boy. his backhand. Ritz, Ritz, I, backhand. I kill Reeb even when I don't. All right, how uh, much damage does, does Fist and Critical Hit do? All right, I'm going to do Fisty McFist here. One sec. Actually, not too bad. Uh, uh, just just eight, uh, eight total damage. So I think you absorb that. Let me take a look. Uh, resilience eight, eight, is eight. Yes, no AP. Yeah, yeah, no AP. However, there is a critical. Don't roll the critical. See what we get. Yeah, we'll roll the we'll roll the old the old critty McCall and see what happens. Uh, this, yeah. this is actually going way. This is actually playing into my hand more than you think. Oh good. Oh good. This this is this is this deep these deep these deep seated lore moments here. Uh let's see. I'm going to roll 2d6 for this this crit effect. Um Britsvis backhand is cuz it's still selected for some reason. Uh, <laughs> he rolls 23. Uh bloody rupture. Oh like mangled flesh crushed bone. Uh like so it probably smashes you like in your nose uh and you take um 1d3 mortal wounds. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm going to spend uh, two rune points to increase this by two, so you're going to take three mortal wounds from that. So I'll be down a total of three of my rune points oh. at the end of that. Yeah, the, uh, the, the, the oh, yeah, backhand from Pi. Okay. Yes. Uh, your 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 punch or whatever initially should be a complication and stuff. Oh, it also complicates. Okay, okay. Yeah, so both right. of them have complicated. So like, I I am going to say the complication is that. Both of them probably go like prone beside each other from this, um, as there is like 
some kind of just like collapse to the ground of both of them uh, yeah, as like I'll pie my lashes out. Throat. Oh yeah, okay, okay, yeah, yeah. absolutely. Uh, if you want to play this out now that we've done the uh, the, the damaging thing, uh, go ahead. How clever you look now, Reap. How <sighs> smart and wise. You always know exactly what to say, and you also know enough to know that it doesn't matter. Because I could, I could fix the ship for you. I could slay a thousand demons for you. I could cause problems in my good intent to attempt to improve your miserable life. And you know that it wouldn't matter. Because to you, Reeb, to you, I would never be your peer. To you, Reeb, I would always be the second most intelligent member of the crew. To you, Reeb, I would simply be the loud mouthed barbarian. Yes, and you've done excellently convincing me otherwise just now, Pi. Do you see what you do to yourself? <laughs> And he's just going to blast blood out of his nose. Yeah, like, and like, like to Zedek and Lorne, like, the two of them are, like, on the floor. Like, Reeb's nose is this splattered mess. Behind them is the sea of, like, demonic Skatari standing like statues and, like, the weird squid. That is the scene we have here. Do you understand you do nothing for your own stereotype? Tell me something, Pi. You wish to be a tech priest. Do you know what they even bloody do? I'll give you a hint. They don't go around menacing and marauding and slaughtering. If you wish to be one, then perhaps at this time you look towards that. If you wish to maraud and slaughter and fight, then embrace it. But for, for God's sake, man. Ugh. If you're going to be one thing and then demand people respect you as another, you need to reconcile that. That is not my job. I will never see you as a peer. And you will just have to live with that. I already live with the fact that the two of us are different enough. I can't even cast... <laughs> psychic abilities like Lorne does, but I've come to grips with that. I will never own a ship that Captain Zedek does, have the freedom he does. And I will never have your augments. And I've reconciled that. I understand that. Perhaps you should as... <laughs> and you should as well. Oh, you don't understand. Everything special about me was created in a lab. I didn't mean to break your lab, Rotori. I tried to help myself, and it didn't work. And it caused a fire, and it's almost driven you insane. It is the lead up to that that you need to think of. You have incredibly high impulses. If you think about it, before you do it, you will find people respecting your opinions faster and more readily. If you act on everything that crosses your mind at a moment's notice, like breaking my bloody nose. Can I spend the glory to interrupt? Uh, uh, you, 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 you certainly can. What, what do you want? This just sounds like a narrative declaration, Zedek. What are you, what are you looking to do here? Uh, Zedek would like to look at Lauren, just like wordlessly knowing what must be done. Oh, Lauren oh looks God. at Zedek and goes like, "I don't know what the fuck. You, what are you looking at me for? Something on my <laughs> face?" And I just start. <laughs> just Lauren, what did beam? <laughs> like, yeah, like he cocks his finger and like looks at Pi like, like oh, all right, okay. we gotta take Pio back. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> just takes a staff, gets ready, starts pointing. He's like, huh? How about, huh? This, how, this, this? how about you you make a narrative declaration and mark yourself down a wrath point there, Alki, and like explain like like not psychically psychically what like thing you and Lauren like agree to do before uh, Lauren takes it in a completely <laughs> dark direction so psychically wordlessly I don't know it's just psychically I just figured Lauren would be, kind of be on the same wavelength by happenstance Zedek will see that the situation is not necessarily improving I assume Lauren also does but probably has different ideas of how to solve it mm -hmm. and 
Zedek will just start sprinting full bore at Pi and Reeb. And he and would like to ch yeah. jump in the air like <laughs> and Belgian flying kick Pi off of Reeb. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Drop kick time. Just, just like a wrestling match. No, Absolutely. Okay. Fuck yeah. Give me a weapon skill test. Absolutely. This is great. <laughs> What's the worst that can happen? Yeah, I like it. Counterattack. <laughs> Hulk, you Oh man, is Zedek gonna do a CQC hug? Oh, Three no. successes in count. I'm gonna reroll that. Yeah, okay. Okay, so reroll the four failures. Rerolling. Well, oh, three failures. Yeah, no more you can't. You can't. Three failures. Back. Yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Ooh. Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so yeah, you you like tackle, but like it it definitely the complication is the, the 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 tackle hug. Like rather than kicking you, you like jump a bit too early, fall forward, and like tackle like pie off, but like land in some kind of like huggish grapple with him. <laughs> Though Reed may be right, pie. Sometimes you just gotta act without thinking. Words fail, and you know who taught me that. You. So get your shit together and come to grips with what you're being told is the being a lie and sort it out later. Tretik. I'm going to put my hands around his head. What? Gently? <laughs> I like it. Gently, uh -oh. Asterix. <laughs> uh -oh. I could crush your head between my hands. I know it. Like a, like a cantaloupe. <laughs> but you are my friend. And that is what matters to And me. as you say that, the squid's tendrils like rise up and begin smashing into the ground like, <sighs> no, French. Oh, will come in and help both of them up. And we'll be like, I mean, you always also have to remember that. Go one of the, like, think of all the great tech priest type things you've done with the deck collector. Gamu has done nearly nothing but just print out complaints. You came up with solutions. Who was the one who helped us uh, in various tech problems whenever we encountered them? I am also on the forward party, but I, I appreciate the gesture. I. No, no, I no. Feel... You are the debt collector's tech priest. And you're <laughs> our tech priest. You are the one who's been helping us with nearly every single tech related problem. If anything came up, we came to you. We never went to Gamble. We avoided Gamble because we prefer you for all of our tech issues. You've helped us in so many different ways, bringing us with joy. And we know. You have improved since you first came to the ship. You're the only adept who has ever respected me. Man, you have only met two. But the only one who's ever done anything either. You are the one of the only people I trust to get something done when I ask them to do it. And one of the only people I've ever called friend. From all the Skatai Rangers that I've ever met, you're the one who's able to strike his own path. You've done better than he kind of motions the army out there. Better than all of them. Look at them all. Not able to fix a toaster if they ever needed to. And here you are. You have solved so many issues with all of us. And you have helped us out with so many things. Oh, they could conquer plants, but you can form better. You can form futures, Pyrite. Don't destroy, kill, break, don't build, don't repair, only break, and like the squid is smashing the tendrils all around. You see? You see what it yells, Pybrain? You are able to mend. You came forth even to mend yourself. Self-improvement, Pybrain. Look at how pathetic <laughs> this thing is. I'm going to put my hand on Lauren's shoulder and on Zedek's shoulder. Thank you. And I agree, their guns are very stupid. There is no reason for there to be an eyeball on a brain phone. It's as dumb. <laughs> <laughs> Good job on the art, by the way, Garrett. We, we love it. <laughs> <laughs> but 
<laughs> I'm going. He's going to gently kind of put them aside for a moment and walk up to Reeb and extend his hand. Reeb, I'm sorry. I know you probably hate me for various reasons, but you are my friend, and I wish I had the chance to live the kind of life you have. I am jealous of you. He will take the hand and be brought up to his feet. Pyrene, you must understand something. We will likely end this whole escapade as not friends for the most part. To be honest with you, I find your presence frustrating. But the fact that we have not outright attempted to intentionally murder each other should speak to the fact that we're able to tolerate each other for the time. I think you are my friend. Uh, fine. I think that. You we can brought continue with the that. tech priestess back to life, and and whenever we require information about this giant, scary, stupid world, you you know what it is. You might not think I am your friend, and maybe that is fine, but to me, you are my friend, and I. That is the only answer my cogitators can come to. No, boom, boom, boom. No, and you like see the glass starting to crack on the um, the, the hall that you're in. But you also hear back from the way you came this like pop hiss, like of something opening. If we have places to be. We can discuss this in the void. Mm, this is a good idea. I'm going to look back at the giant squid. By the way, your squid is not anatomically correct. And then I'm going to begin leaving <laughs> to the door. Absolutely like, leaving up to corn. Fucking own. <laughs> <laughs> and like, yeah, the last thing you see is is the like the the squid like its anger smashing the legions of these like these demonic skitari that don't even move as they're like being completely destroyed. And you have your moment. Uh, pop and then you all like climb up the ladder back into the the liminal space as as this scene falls apart and then, then the hatch seals behind you putting you back into the uh, the strange space you were in before <coughs> can I do a medicaid to fix my fucking major wounds that I've sustained absolutely can I use that medicaid I threw out as a joke to fix pie's owie boo boo earlier <laughs> Sure. sure. Okay, I got great news. Yep. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's nine successes. Holy fuck! Yeah, you get your you get your your mortal wounds back. You yeah, there we go. Yep, nine yep. successes. You'd like wrap yourself up in in the warp area. No, he's just gonna twist his nose back into position. Oh, like it was like upside down. Friends, I just. Thank wanted to say I'm very sorry. I did not believe that that I would be so tempted and that I am I am a living garbage can at times. Yeah. A sword on it yeah. that is for this metaphor is stupid. Ah. Uh, mm. He passes his shoulder. It's okay. It's just, I, as I've been tracking you down through the deck collector's debt, I've got all the contacts of the uh, of the people you killed. And and just to make it up to them, uh, here's a list of all the funerals you need to attend to. Oh, my God. God damn. Perhaps that's you not can, the best choice. You can stop Why doing your Why would someone have a funeral? Never. I don't understand. <laughs> Uh, it's, a, it's a matter of inducting the corpse into the recycling plant. It's important for some people. Oh, yeah. I just go get them all at once. I believe, Pi, this would be an excellent opportunity to prove you can do more than just wantonly slaughter people. Yes, I could create a new funeral. That's not what I suggested. 
Mm, I you can make an efficient all. one, you know, that does like the, the little box thing, but the box could be reusable, then it dumps their corpse out into the grinder. Yes, and I could create a machine that gives people funerals before they have died. Yes, no, you, exactly. You, See, the, my the brain, you're <laughs> such a creator. <laughs> what do you call it? Ah, the funeral machine. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck? Reeve is going to look at the camera like he's on the office and say, this is why I'm not friends with him. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Funeral two. <laughs> I, maybe, maybe the the funeralizer is a mm, strange invention. I will have to consider later. For for now, I am. Uh, uh, we have one more place to go through, and I have a feeling this is going to pertain to Lorne. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yes, I'm proud of the last one up. Don't worry, I got this. Time for you to suffer too. Man, yeah. Mm, well, we know that there are birds involved, and I uh, think that birds um do not live in the uh, s- uh, snow, so we might be in a good place uh, starting out. Okay. You continue <laughs> carrying on for, for a little ways. Uh, and it doesn't take long for you to see another strange um, formation on the unseen road that you walk in this liminal space of psychedelic energy. Uh, this time standing out in stark contrast to, to the broken space around you is the entrance of a cave. The stone sort of layered on top of each other leading into this this dark area, but at the far end of it you can see light peering in. As you approach closer to the cave entrance that like blocks the end of your passage on this, this walkway, you feel like the cold wind coming through and washing over you. It's a chill none of you, except for Lorne, have experienced. Something that touches you and no matter your armor, ev- even your mechanical parts, it chills your body and soul. Yep. Lorne, you recognize this as the chill winds of Fenris. Just like home. Well, whichever this one is, but ready really know where I came from. And yeah. Are you ready, everyone? I'm going to overheat my plasma like rifle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like overheat the plasma rifle, keep it close to you. Like, yeah, just, hug it. Is just hug it. Yeah. Now I am good. See, Lawrence is just fine here. What else is different? It's like, what do you mean? It's just, you know, I'm used to it. Why aren't you? <laughs> so cold. Lord, how do you live here with no? Cover. <laughs> I mean, I mean, this is summer. This is it's summer. Yeah. You oh. walk into the cave, and unlike the the cave that you first uh, woke up in after your your encounter with Yorks, there's no sound of of water here, no dripping. Everything in the interior is frozen. There's just the echoes of your footsteps on rock as you continue, sort of scaling up slowly towards the end of the cave. That is this pure bright white light, uh, beyond which you can see a vast landscape of mountains and snow. Well, do you know the way, Lorne? Are we going to freeze in your dream? Well, Lorne looks around. Can I do a uh, awareness check to see if I, like, might be familiar with what's going on? Absolutely. Okay. Awareness, here we go. Mm-hmm. I got a two. Okay. Um, oh. Could you give me a willpower uh, test? Yeah, I also, technically, I would complicate on that. No, no. Oh, no, okay. No, that. My, no, no, no my bad. bad. My bad. But keep going. Keep going. Okay. Don't do can you give me a, a willpower test as well? Sure can. One got a five. Okay. Um... 
you kind of like come out you're trying to look it's difficult to pinpoint where you are uh, but then there's like this flash and and you have it in in your mind this this topographical layout like Fenris changes with seasons but this particular image has burned itself into your mind it's the day your village was raided far long ago one of oh. one of the earliest moments in Lorne's life you remember this because the the appearance of the mountains everything here is so idyllic uh, compared to what you know Fenris to be because as a child this is how you remembered it Oh, I remember this. There was a... We fought many a battles away from home, and, and I had to stay behind to actually look over the village, but I was wounded at the time. And as all, as all warriors were away, the, the Felkrins came in and wiped everything out. Hmm. They killed all of... All the family that I knew and slaughtered the children and, and everything else. And that's what I remember when I, uh, I was taken then after. I was able to crawl away after the battle, but, and over there, actually, and he kind of points over, kind of like at a, at a distant hill or so, oh, yeah. I climbed all the way there. And that's where the warriors found me. What warriors? They were titans. Ginormous men who came in from the buffeting snow. I couldn't quite understand them, really, but I arrived on some in the metal structure similar to the debt collector and was, uh, was brought into the Emperor's service then. And like as you you finish pointing at this hill and saying that the, the the wind kind of howls slightly, but at the tail end of it, you hear like the laughter of children, <laughs> kind of carried on further down away from the hill, but still visible from your elevated vantage point. A small village fortified up against the side of a rising mountain, like very like like very defensible like wooden planking has been set up to defend this place look my ring look it's Corval look at him he reminds me of you and his father slowed so many people down in several battles and and look, look, Hokey, look, look. Not Hokey. <laughs> Zenith! Oh, no. Zenith. Yeah, I'm looking! Head froze to death. The wall is a twang with the fourth wall. <laughs> Zenith, Zenith, look, there's, uh, there's, one of the, there's one of the boatmen who would come by ever so often. He looks very much like you. It's... It's also surreal. Lawrence is pretty much like, I assume we're going through the village at this point. Just oh, yeah, you're kind of like walking down this icy slope. All of you are like, again, still buckled up. Like Pybrain has the, the plasma gun charged for heat at this point. Um, and as you're, as you're saying this, you, you hear the, the first of a in the air as a lone bird, a black raven seems to circle above the village. Oh. Oh, no, I, Lauren will turn to everybody saying, we need to leave. We need to, 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 to my home, to my home, quickly. And then Lauren will basically just quickly just leave over. It's like, they're coming. Lauren is getting in that phase where he gets very uh, emotionally invested in things. I think we will have to work extra hard for him not to accidentally worship the Bird King. Will we? I don't feel that's going to be an issue. I, 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 I know this man. He is either a, a very funny man or a very, very emotional man, and sometimes a funnily emotional man, but more than likely, yes, he would probably be tempted very, very hard. Hmm. And so, like, Lauren, you're trudging ahead through the snow, right? Like, I assume I it's, like, kind head, of probably yeah. just up to your knees. Like, you're just, like, like with, with some kind of renewed strength and vigor pushing through towards the village. Again. He's, he's like, yelling around, like, warriors! Where are the warriors? Where are the yeah. defensemen? Freddy Hudson! And, and like, the, like, the, the only response is the bird cawing back at you. 
and he, he, he looks at it in fear every time as it gets closer and closer to his home. And like as as the, the I assume the the, the three uh, others you're all following like kind yeah, of trying to keep pace with Lorne. Um, as as like Lorne is sort of like taking lead here, you can see that um, from the the opposite side of the village, kind of in between these two mountain ranges that rise up in the distance, is this like roiling gale, this storm, this gray miasma of sleet and snow and cold rushing towards. And in it, you can hear like savage cries and shouts. And it's everything, Lorne, from your memories of that day, the shouts of warriors coming to kill, to raid, to take. Everyone get inside, get inside. Enter the building. Pyrebrain, in here. Yeah. I shove Pyrebrain in, like, grab that sword over there. Da, 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 rape, 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 yeah. right here. Spear. <laughs> and he's just grabbing just weapons <laughs> that's kind of like in his house. Here's this, uh, you know how to use a shield, right? You know how to use a yeah, shield, Yeah, and right? you've, you've come into the village and like, are, are, you're sort of at the, the front hut, which has all this equipment, and you're grabbing all of this, but like the villagers around you, the women, the children, the elderly, the wounded, they seem to just be going around like it's a regular day as this black cloud descends. They seem entirely oblivious to it. I'm I'm going to grab Lorne as I can as he's moving around like fr frantically and lift him up slightly. <laughs> Lorne! What? what? You, you need to calm down. I speak as someone who has just had a very bad day. You need to realize that none of this is real. These are all things being shown to you to upset you. Lauren will look directly in the pie brain's glowing eyes. And I like to imagine that pie brain is looks back and just sees like, you know, like the, the joke that people have, like like PTSD, like just black and white war footage just faded oh, yeah. in with a thousand He's got yard that stare. Old metal jacket, yeah, the cubic yeah, he stare. Is, he is staring at him with horror, which he's never really been like scared, scared or whatever, but this is like, oh god, it's happening again. Uh, uh, Jerick, can you hold this? He has gone mad from the revelation, and he needs good words, and I am not good at wording. And, like, as as you go to hand him off, you hear, like, from within the storm, this, like, ululating, oh, rattle cry, and you see shadows moving within the storm, strange creatures feathered and clawed, and men that walk as beasts. Hi, this is a bit out of my depth. Uh, <laughs> Lorne, it's... Trust me, because Pi and I have both been through the same thing. None of this is real. It, it seems very, very real. But trust me, it is not... It is not real. Gotta get a hold of yourself and pull through this. I would like to make a leadership test Absolutely. against Lorne. Absolutely. I mean, it's not against him. You're using against him. Lord. You insist. <laughs> against him. I insist. I All right, it is against insist. him. Fine, fine. Here you go, Lauren. I rolled. A, I rolled to demoralize. Six Lord. successes. Uh, yeah. So you kind of like. I, I assume this might even end with like a slap or something of like getting Lauren's senses back to him. <laughs> uh, six is pretty. Is pretty decent. So Lauren, this will have some effect on you, but I'm gonna let you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Re, I'm gonna let you. Play. Let's take you. Yeah. You're right, Jedek. You're, you're right. We are. No, not as I remember. In this situation, I basically was too wounded, and I had to listen to everything and look through the windows as they did everything. But this time, we can make a difference. We could face this fear together with all of you, my friends. Now we can. Let's go face this threat head on. Let's go confront once who wants to come for, come after us. Because I say, like, Gorgamunga's army will not be able to take us this day if I have all of you. Uh, I, uh, if you insist. I didn't. I didn't say we should fight them, but you should, sure, sure, <laughs> sure, Lauren. <laughs> like, oh, come on, Zedek, you know a good battle when you see it. You just tap the shoulders and just start just marching on with, oi, with, his, oi, with the leadership check and check in. <laughs> Lorne, we just learned a valuable lesson about immediately killing everyone we know. Wait. But if we don't oh, kill them, they kill learning. innocents. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, Lorne, are you just, like, walking out, like, in front of the village now with, like, getting ready to defend it? 
<laughs> yeah, just pretty much okay. like, come on, let's face this threat head on and get out of here. And what are the what are the rest of you doing? Are you standing with Lorne like outside the, the city? It is impossible for me to in good consciousness allow Lorne to move unsupervised right now as he deals with old man dementia and must protect him. <laughs> 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 Jesus. My man's Lorne's got brain worms today. Okay, well, okay. So Lorne, uh, you see this like cloud coming towards you. What are you doing? Like, are you doing anything against the cloud? Is it's like, like rushing towards you? This storm of snow and death. Lorne would like to basically start summoning as much of his psychic uh, powers, okay. and will basically just—it's just like imagine him on top of like this hill or kind of mountain portion in the village, just doing magic wizard stuff. There's. Okay. And just echoing through, like, you not enter this village! And then just slamming out his staff, doing lightning stuff against the cloud, etc. Kind of in his mind. Like, he would kind of, like, yeah. he would begin speaking to the weather and stuff in old village days. Can you, uh, give me, give me a psychic mastery test, please? Are you, like, going unbound, too? Or are you just... Sure, unbound, no, Hell no yeah. care. Because he is now, okay. like, full on, I'm going to destroy this thing. Absolutely. Um, so Unbound is like two more Wrath die, right? Yep. Okay, I did put in that one, so it's six originally, and then okay. just two more D6s there. Yep. Will be a one to six and one's a one, okay. and the six is the last one. So but yeah, one's you... one is a one. Uh, so, like, what exact effect are you trying to do against? Like, are you kind of like summoning the world spirit here, and like, yeah, pretty much the wolf spirit of Fenris, of just conjuring up to pretty much push back against. You know the evil chaos magic that he knows that's coming, and he is yeah. basically like pushing back against it because he knows in the village like the thing came in and swooped down his village and corrupted so many people. So he's like, no, mm -hmm. he's like trying to be the the bulwark against it. And so, and so, what happens here is is this this like manifestation of the wolf spirit of Venus like comes out from the snow of the village, rising up like a particle effect that has this sort of appearance of like the head of a wolf and snarling claws and it goes and begins to wrestle with this cloud and Lorne, you are standing on top of the hill in this village kind of pushing this like guiding this world spirit to fight and as this is happening these these hordes of feathered bestial creatures wielding like shields and clubs are rushing out just underneath the edge of the cloud where the wolf spirit is and like from, from our view that like sort of takes us away we can see like Reeb and Captain Zedek and Pybrain standing just underneath the shadow of this wolf fighting against these, these beasts figures that are coming and attacking um, but then we realize that it's not just us as an audience who's watching it uh, we're seeing this through Lorne's eyes and Lorne you're actually seeing your own body far off in the distance uh, on top of this hill in the village conjuring this wolf spirit and you realize that you must be on a on, on like the side of a mountaintop or hill that is far far away from the site but enough for you to get a clear view in the distance and you you know that you're you're not in your real body but you're in some kind of like spiritual form your weird form that is far away from the village watching it uh, as your body is sort of doing all the work and you you hear this kind of laughing voice behind you of <laughs> Where's in? It looks like you're trying to change your life's weird then, aren't ya? As you <laughs> like your spirit turns to see this massive, bulked out, shamanistic figure with a strange black wooden staff who has this, this like, slight similarity um, in visage, this long red beard flowing, like, red hair. It looks almost like the raider chief that raided your village from so long ago, but clearly not, like, with the armor and the, the pelts. This is more of, like, a shamanistic version of this man who clutches onto this black wood staff and stands beside you, looking down at this scene unfolding. Gorgamanga. I have uh, many names. But you may call Nef. me that if that is what you wish. 
we are watching the time now and the time then. Your friends are standing against the dark that encroaches. Lauren will look down and closer to the valley and he'll see all his friends all down there. And of course, the scene is like there's a huge, like, demonic looking army about to come in and destroy the village. Yeah, and like it's it's kind yeah. of like it's kind of um, there's the black cloud and underneath it, you can kind of see like the small figures of the army spreading under the cloud. And then the three of your companions opposed to it that like are standing under the more like white and clear version of the snow wolf that your material body is conjuring to fight yeah. the storm. Some kind of yeah. like album cover going on here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it's just a Power Wolf album. Just yes. Fucking... <laughs> I behold the wizard. <laughs> um, I immediately mean, Lauren will kind of look to him, pretty much just kind of furrows his brow. And immediately, he just doesn't really respond all the much, but just. <laughs> Hold up, someone, someone's dying. Oh no, okay. don't die. Never mind. And, uh, and he'll go, <laughs> and immediately molten beam at him. Sure. Please, please roll unbound for a molten beam. Oh, my unbound and beam. Unbounded uh -huh. beam. Oops, I beamed again. <laughs> I hate your music, but you're <laughs> still my friend. <laughs> okay, I did not complicate, but it's nine okay. successes, and I technically created or whatever. And 20 uh, nine damage. successes, yeah. you say? Yeah, nine successes, I say. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um... Like the beam just like smashes into the, ch the the chest of this figure who who looks down and sort of like dusts himself off slightly as the beam strikes him and like kind of like takes a deep breath like sucking in good air. Oh, very good, very good. You've grown quite a bit, but that's all you have, isn't it? Just the beam. And so, I have others too. I, da, da. And he casts Crush at him because he's just, just throwing what he can at him. Yeah, yeah, yeah give crush, me a Crush. And then it'll have to be three Wrath and boop, boop. Boop, boop. Boop, boop. And that is 13 successes and no, no complications. And like you could see, like you kind of like push the hand back a bit, and he's looking and like looks down at the hand and re reaffirms it and kind of plants it in the ground and looks back at you. Very, very good. You're getting very skilled with those abilities, but they aren't going to save your friends. They mean they won't save them. Oh, we well, look. As I said, we're watching the then. We're watching the now. Why don't we see about the two B? And like, as as you you kind of look back at the battlefield, something momentarily changes, and you see that like the shape of the cloud, the black cloud, uh, fighting against the wolf, and then the three like champions under it has kind of changed, and it takes on the sneering face of one Slaburgo de Fakopi, and yeah, like seems me. to be pushing the wolf back. It's a good fight, but it's not going to be enough. I mean, it won't be enough. I definitely have more psychic power than the fuck of his pinky. Or maybe but wait, you have more no of the psychic power. <laughs> <laughs> and he pauses Wait a turns. minute, hold up, hold up there, hold up. Okay, so one pinky and just say, uh, I have more power by pinky than him. Yeah, there we go, I figured it out. Well... I don't know, because he is using a weird that goes beyond the, the mind space. He's using dark things, alien things. And your friends, they won't last long. And like he points again and you can see now that like Pi Brain and, and like Reeb and Zedek are kind of having to back off. Your your psychic wolf is sort of being like beaten down, not by like any attacks, but just the sneering smile of the defuckerby cloud. Mm -hmm. It's not going to be enough, I'm afraid. You're going to lose, and your friends, they're all going to die. And you're just like your village. 
Uh, uh, Lord, we're losing this fight on this end. And like, yeah, you you hear Reeb shouting to your corporeal body, like you can hear it in in the back of your skull. It's like, I assume I can't reply back to him or something. Uh, I, I'd let you like respond, like your your like corporeal form can like grits yeah, something yeah. through gritted teeth. It's like, it's like you'll Arendell everybody else here. I'm just going to sight my best. And like back in the, the the spirit hill that you have, you the, the the figure of this this raider chieftain shaman says, oh, "But your best might not be enough, and if your best isn't enough, all of your friends are going to die. But there's more than that. You've seen it, haven't you? You've seen him sitting there. He's gonna sit on the throne." And like you I have a flashback to that dream mm. you had before waking up in the cave of Slaburgo de Fuckerby sitting on the golden throne of mankind, the smile flashing into your vision, imitating perfectly the cloud form that is like pushing against your friends, pushing them to the walls of the village. Lord will uh, look at him on the mountains and say, how do I know you're not lying? I've already experienced three other of your ilk trying to convince my friends and whatnot. We've all said no. How do I think you're just trying to trick me or something? Yes. Yes, I've seen the visions. Yes, I've seen it all. I don't think you have. I don't think you have anything. I can give you everything. I can give you the power you need to make your weird, to break your weird, and make it your own. To break the cycle, to stop the man who would kill your friends. And like at this point, like Lorne and Zedek and Pybrain have fallen back to the, to, to just at the door of, of the village. Like the more of these feathered monstrosities are rushing and attacking them. Anytime, Lorne. Mm-hmm. This is the worst planet ever. I'm trying! Right! That Brader chieftain! He points towards uh, the the fellow who Lorne is battling with. If we kill him, this is over! And like, there's this, like, in the center of the storm is, yeah, the, like, not the shamanistic version that Spirit Lorne is with on the hill, but this hulking brute in plated armor. It looks as though he's taken the plates from even the, the Emperor's angels and fused them to his, his armor. And he wields this club that is, like, spiked with adamantine and pats it in his hand as he advances. The throng of feathered bestial creatures running towards... They're going, they're going to try, but they won't because succeed. Of course they're going to try. I, I have faith in them. And I'm going to kind of look for the mountainside. Like, he yells there, but it's like, he obviously probably won't even go through. But he's like, like you can do it, boys. Like, I'll hold off the things. You can do it. Just slay the chieftain folk. Once he's gone, everything comes down. Uh, yeah, believe. so what are the people on the ground doing? Like, you've got this sort of, like, mob of bestial, like, feathered creatures in front of you using primitive weaponry, and then you have this this immense ogre titan coming towards you with its its big club. Do, do we see this, uh, this chieftain? Um, yeah, like, you, you see him sort of in the middle of, of this, surrounded by dozens of these, like, armored, of these bestial figures. Uh, I am going to attempt to grab the attentions of the Horde and the Titan and okay. break off from the group, hoping to create a pathway to get to the Shaman. Okay. Use myself Absolutely. as bait. Well, the, the, sorry, I should clarify. The Shaman isn't, like, in that group. The Shaman and Lorne are, like, having a spirit conversation on a hill that you can't see. All you're seeing is this big titan, like, leader in the, the miasmic fog. Like, he is the leader of this attack. Oh, okay. In that case, I'm going to run at this guy. Absolutely. <laughs> I, have been, I have been told, I have just soulfully experienced that it is important to not be a psycho murder machine. But for this particular instance, okay, I'll be a psycho murder machine, sure. Okay. You can't quite reach him, but you can, like, attack the mob, absolutely. Ah! I'll do that. Okay. 
Give me, give me a weapon skill test. Plus one right. for Get him. Here we go. Oh, there's our ass. The tickles ass. I'm going to get you. <laughs> this is a lot of time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so that uh, is going to be 13 successes. Uh-huh. I'll be moving those three wrath over. It's yep. okay. Mm. Uh, Do yeah. you save them all? And that is another three, three damage, so it's 16 okay. damage, AP3. You start cutting down almost like, almost 10 of these things, just slashing them with your sword, and they're falling, and they're they're giving off these, like, ha-ha, but, like, as you slash them down, like, they seem to burst into this black dust and add to the storm around you. <sighs> And like back up on the hill, the the the, the, the raider sh shaman beside you, Spirit Lorne. They're trying very well, and they have spirit, but spirit might not be enough. I'm sure they can make it. Just just watch them. They're gonna glare through all these things and take out that chieftain. And we'll change as history, as, you as that is said, convince me otherwise. The like this. The, the black smog cloud of defuckerby, like the sneering smile, like seems to turn and look down at Pi Brain. Pi Brain, can you give me a willpower test, please? <laughs> Since you asked me so nicely. Yeah. <laughs> no, I don't think I can. I'm gonna I'll put uh, two into this. Sure. To glory. To glory. <laughs> Plogre. Hey, five successes. Yeah. Okay, um, not quite enough. The difficulty here is eight. That's an insane number of human beings. Oh, uh, says the someone who just rolled the 13. Okay. Well, okay, okay. <laughs> all right, but like all of my points are in that one skill. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh, God. Um, I guess it's I almost could... like the defucker bee cloud might have all of his points in crazy psychic this, powers. This, this, is, this is highly irregular. Of course I'll be spending the rest of the glory. That's okay. So two more points. Yeah, two sure. more points. Okay. Hey! One you need one more. Uh, and then I will wrath the remainder. Sure. Mm hmm Ah! Okay, oh. nice. so I'm pine brain. So you fall to your knees, and resist the compulsion to kill your allies. Whew, that was close. I almost did like, that earlier too. Up, up on the hill, <laughs> the like the shaman, the shaman sort of like, oh well, they are a bit surprising. Their weird must be supported by, by others. Look at that. Such abilities to hold out against that monstrous thing. Uh, Zedek, what are you doing? Uh, Zedek will likewise rush out into the storm to try and clear out the mob. Because clearly this big boy is is our ticket to getting yeah, out so of this Yeah, so Pybrain's path. kind of like cut a path. You could probably reach the big boy. Zedek will start running towards this open path as much as he can. Okay. Yeah, you could charge the big boy from where you are. I would love to charge, but I will Absolutely. also die in close combat because I'm a squishy boy. Coward. Yeah, we've established this. Okay. Hostile DM! Hostile DM! Yeah, we got a hostile DM in here! Yeah, hostile GM! Hostile GM! Come on, just gotta get a complaint with the GM's union. Okay, I'll, I'll call your bluff, Thurston. I'll charge, wow. big boy. Wow, okay, shit. Yeah. I was not expecting no that. No way that he could possibly be hostile. No, oh, of course. I've hunted him to his death. <laughs> it's actually uh, a pacifist. <laughs> I will attack you with the. Moon. Okay, uh, before you do that, Reeb, can you give me a willpower test? Ah! No, I don't think I will. Oh, thanks, guys. Okay. Well, if you want to fail, that's fine. Uh, no, I'm just not. Gonna, I'm just not going to fail it. Oh, he makes a good point. Hostile player, <laughs> shit! <laughs> I'm not giving you a that I do not fail. Fuck. <laughs> I'm the last of the glory, guys. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Okay. All right, we have no glory now. Okay. Boom. Hey, happy I got two. Okay, it's, I'm it's... I'm very happy. Would you like to wrath that at all? No. Okay. Would you roll me a ballistic skill check? Sure. Stinky. I'm being hostile now. You are going to be hostile. 
Yes. Oh god, he is hostile. Okay, will you we roll the damage you the on your god. flamer? Motherfuck. Flamer. A flamer. Flamer. I mean, I probably should have just rolled the flamer. That's fine. Yeah, yeah. You can just roll it again. That's fine. It'll do the whole thing, but yeah. Okay, yeah, but um, so, uh, Zedek, as you start running, Reeb turns kind of, like, against his will, raising his flamer and, like, blasts a gout of fire at you. And, um, so you're on fire and take 11 points of damage. Ooh, okay. Uh, while you are on fire, do you continue? Do you complete your charge towards this big guy? Yes, I do, because maybe I also Absolutely. Catch you on Make fire. me a charge attack, please. Sure. Where's the. Ugh. I've ne never charged anybody before. Fuck. Uh, you'll hit him. Pistol. Absolutely. Like, rush up and shoot point blank with the arc pistol? Yeah. I was gonna. I meant to use the power saver. Oh, do you, do you want to use the power sword? Go ahead. <laughs> yes, I do. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. And don't forget to add plus one because uh, dice, because you're. Oh, yeah, baby. Yeah, you'll still hit. But uh, with that, okay, yeah. So you manage to slice slightly into the armor and, like, like do, do, do a flesh wound to this guy who just, like, looks down at you while you are on fire. <laughs> just looking up at him, like. Hi. How are you? <laughs> how you doing? Kill him! Hey. Him. hey. <laughs> All right. Hey, how are you? He looks back at Pi and Reeb, who has set him on fire, and just like shrugs. I did all I could. Okay. Uh huh. Uh huh. I'm just one sec. Mm -hmm. One sec. Dice are rolling. Dice are rolling. Uh, he responds. Um, Zedek, you take uh, 16 points of damage at AP minus two as the club comes around and smashes into your chest. Am I allowed to sidestep this? Um, he hit you uh, with a nine. Yeah, I mean, that still hits. Yeah. 16 minus 2. Oh, oh, I would like to, uh, I'd like to determination that so I don't die instantly. Absolutely. Determination. Ooh. Ooh. Dose. Ooh. That's, that's pretty good. I mean, yeah. I, you kind of live on Zedek. I'm down to zero shock and wound. So, like, there's just this smash, and, like, you feel your armor, like, buckle and break as you're still on fire. Uh, meanwhile, at this point, like, more of these bestial things are now swarming, filling in the gaps surrounding Pie Brain. Like, Reeb seems to, to, like, have this glazed look in his eyes. And we cut back up to the mountain uh, with the, the, the two spirit forms looking down at all of this. As you can see, your friends aren't doing too well. They I need your help. I, I mean, I'm, I'm helping them all I can. But you could help them more. You just need to accept me gifts. I uh, give you all the power you need to stop him. You I, have to be the one to stop the fucker, man. I, I don't believe that we can... I don't believe we can stop what just has to be hard. Oh, it's just... Like one still looking down a little bit, just like, eh, <laughs> like come on, and like, I'm, guys. I'm, I'm going, I'm going to like narratively declare, like at this point, like Zedek falls down from the fire before like even getting another hit off. Pie brain is just consumed by this horde of beasts. <laughs> I. What'll happen to me? You learn everything. No, everything no, you no. need. <laughs> no, no. What? What else will happen to me? You'll do what you need to do to save your friends, won't ya? From last I heard from the other ones, at least from the green fellow. You all hate the, the fuck of me as much as we do. Aye, that's right. He's a threat to all of you, is he? He's a threat to everything he is. What do you fear most about him? 
he could end the game. And we don't want the game to end. What happens when the game ends? And like, as you ask that, the the lights go out. You realize that there's complete darkness. There's just you staring at this figure. Everything stops. Can I, uh, is there anything I can roll to see if I believe that or not wholeheartedly? Um, absolutely. What kind of, uh, what kind of skill? Like, insight would be a good one? Yeah, yeah, insight, yeah. Yeah, sweet. It's Let's not very it. high, but yeah, I failed uh, completely. So you're, yeah, like, he's like, he's giving you this whole thing, like, he's giving you a fucking PowerPoint slide real time of, like, reality ending. Lauren will look back at his friends, which I assume they're all scrambling, trying to fucking, <laughs> like, survive. Oh, yeah, like, at this point, Pie Brain is, like, like completely, like, covered by a horde. Zedek is, like, on the ground, like, like still on fire as this chieftain is raising up his immense club. Uh, Reeb seems to, like, be, like, turning his flamer around against himself. Holy fuck. It's, it's fine. It's Zinch. He does this. And she says turn, as he does this. On return to him. And say that. I want some terms. What be your terms? After I get ready to fuck with me, it's over. No more. That's it. That's all you want, right? That's it. No more after that. If you stop his plans, that can be arranged. And Warren will extend out his hand. And like, rather than reaching out a hand of his own, he lowers down the black wood staff and the tri claw, the like avian bird like claw grips your ha extended hand and bites into your flesh and you feel your mind open and there's this exhalation and you're back in the village you're back in the village the black cloud in the distance is gone and like you realize that you've gone back to the moment when you led your companions like you've led Zedek you've led Reeb you've led Pybrain into the village uh, for the first time telling them they have to get ready but there's no cloud now everything is stopped you're simply there in the village And, like, for the rest of you, it is as though none of that combat ever happened. You've simply been dragged by Lorne to his village with, like, worries of, like, war and death, but instead you come to this peacefully idyllic village. Hey, folks. And, like, the kids are smiling, and, like, some of them seem to, like, wave at you and run off and play. Others are, like, mending. And at the far end of the village, like, up against the base of the wall, is a cave. Um, and, and in that cave, you can see the sort of, like, liminal space beyond of the strange webway. But we came to a completely normal village. Yeah, I mean... I don't know I was really weird here, but uh, well, let's keep going. And that's the exit? Yeah. I'm going to look at Reeb. I'm going to look at Zedek. I'm going to look you back look at, at the Lauren. What did you do? I... You saw me. I beat it back, right? What did you do? I, what, what do you mean? I, I, I won. See, look. I don't know what you won about. We walked into this village and you said, oh, yeah, it's fine. No, this is my own voice. I'm not good at doing your voice. But you. Uh, we, no, we, no, Pybrain, come. Look, look, look. It's, it's, it's uh, the village's armies. They saved the village. Look. The, the enemy and like outside, yeah, you see the their villager side. warriors have come back and are like putting swords to the wounded of the enemy. But nothing happened. What do you mean? Of course nothing happened. We just arrived. We just Yeah, we just walked into inside. what the bird guy's magic evil gimmick is just making everything nice. Man, it's a, I don't know. He sucks, I guess. Lauren, you're Look full of him. shit. What happened? 
I think at this point you gotta like roll insight or some shit. It's like yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm, Give me I'm, an insight I'm, test. Of course, of course. <laughs> My insight is as always impeccable and incredible. So was I, Lauren's. I invested one point to it. Uh, I will uh, put a glory into that. Mm -hmm. That's three. Um, this seems like generally weird, but like you're not suspicious of Lorne. And then we gotta look around and see like what's up with this place, Pyrene. Yeah. It's like uh, it's just my army won, the village is safe, everyone seems happy. Like I'm kind of confused too. It's like why, like what what, what are they gonna do? Mm, well, mm, if it is not something that you have done, then clearly your real trial has yet to occur. Uh, we must uh, examine the villagers. Maybe they are all secretly uh, uh, spiders or uh, something. I don't we know. We don't have time to go meddling with Lorne's memories. We have to get moving. Yeah, well, if they didn't want to come and say hi, I guess they, I don't know, had another soul to take. Let's go. And something is... Mm. Weird, Lorne. You need to watch out. There might be a trick that might not be the exit. No, it's a, it's So what, are we house. going to remain in this frozen hellhole for the rest of our days? While we My to brain! You told me! You all told me the, the, the thing that I should always use my brain and not act thoughtlessly. Well, we, we are acting thoughtlessly if we just say, Oh, well, this one was just a normal hole in Fenris, lol. The, the question then becomes, Pi, what exactly do they gain if they all despise the fuckery from continuing to waste our time? Well, uh, probably the same thing they would have gained from me killing all of you. One I, guy that's cool. The, the, one, the one god who was attempting to get you to turn into a wanton murder machine probably isn't thinking terribly tactically. Are you telling me that I got the stupid one? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not, I don't Sorry. know that for certain, but given the fact that he was literally just offering you a legion so you could go and... Oh, no, he was offering the... you guys legions. I didn't... We don't have need... For, why would he bother offering them to us? He knows we're not going Zedek, to... what are them. you doing during this? <laughs> He's he, he's thinking he probably should intervene, but at this point, there's, it's it's fucked. Zedek is eating a crepe. Hey, okay. uh, you had, Lord, you didn't tell me you have crepes on Fenris. She's just, <laughs> just oh, going, that's great. Mm -hmm. hey, hey, everyone here have one. Eat, eat the crepes, pie. Eat the crepe. I can't. I don't. I can't eat. There, there is such a thing as overthinking things. If we've been spared this frustration, I imagine we've been allowed to move forward. And we've passed or failed the test. It doesn't bloody matter. Oh, there goes his father to get on his fucking hot rod, asshole. Yeah, there goes that. Oh, no, I, wanted, I wanted to shoot him really fucking hard. Yeah, let's just, it's, yeah, don't worry. I got this. Lord snaps his like... fingers and just a lightning bolt just comes in. Just... Yeah, <laughs> just... it's just a Space Marine account. It's like the really stupid attack trike that, like, uh, Space Marines get. Oh, Power God, trike. yes. <laughs> ATV. Oh, we've now realized there's a Mario Kart track around the village. Oh, oh my God, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Well, okay, if there is nothing else then, and you are all in agreement, then maybe I am simply being paranoid. But don't forget, my totally genius conspiracy was right after all, and I have a good sense of these things, so uh, just watch yourselves going forward. I am yes, absolutely. I have you to watch my back, Pie Brain. Yes. That Lawrence is going to start walling out. Uh, yeah, so you you head towards the the like the, the cavernous entrance, which leads back to the the, the strange liminal space, um, and like like Lorne, you kind of shepherd everyone in, and they all they all go through, and it's like you're sort of the last. You 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 turn around like one last time to look at your village, happy and, and like clearly not destroyed. Your memory somewhat adjusted to compensate for this but in the far far distance you see the small pinprick figure of the shaman with the staff standing on the distant hill 
And then you turn and you walk out, returning back into the strange liminal space. Uh, you walk out and all of you return back to the the psychedelic backgrounds, the the the, the bridge of nothingness that you traverse, your footsteps echoing and making no sounds at the same time as you walk through this place that shouldn't exist. Well, there's four of them. You said right, Reeb? There's only four of them? Four of them, four of us. Unless there's some other one floating around malingering somewhere else. Yes. Now It's funny that word starts with mall. Uh, yeah, it's almost like I attended it. What? What? Haha, <laughs> funny meme. Oh no, everyone, now we need to go through churches, temptation. Oh no! <laughs> oh no, the last of the Christ! <laughs> the last temptation church. It's like a giant fat rat. It's like, hey kid, you wanna buy a cigar? It's the great horned rat, thank you. You wanna walk towards the Ah, as Erndel dies inside. Very good. Uh, um, yeah, you continue. You continue walking, um, and like, like having having some some time to discuss what you what you've like encountered. Um, I believe, yeah, you were you're mentioning that there were only four, and Ern, like our the uh, rebuke, like yeah, four of them, four of us. Well, let's continue this path. Wondering where we're going to end up now. Suffering awaits. You know, it was probably a good idea for that elder not to be here because, like, we totally would have killed that elder by now. I just, I just know it. Oh, she would have found a way to deal with it. Those poncy bastards figure something out. No, I probably would have attacked her first, or maybe, like, you know, we might have pushed her into the zombies, or, like, you know, there were things that it probably was a good idea. She did not come. Either way. Okay, you continue on. And eventually, you you see something at the end of the area. It appears to be two sets of wooden doors. They have no handles, but it looks like they're, they're sort of like in a box almost. Like there's wooden edging around them, and then there's two of them that have flat wooden surfaces at the end of the, uh, the end of the, the strange street. I believe this is where our road ends, at least in this nightmare realm. Good. Yeah. Finally tired of this. Get out of this horrible, horrible place. I feel like a better, worse. I feel worse. I feel worse having yes, that. Yes, I think we all You feel better about after all yeah, that yeah. point. We've got some words. Yeah, I feel pretty bad. And, you know, like, like I have a big, heavy headache. Nice. Let's just get out of Maybe here. we should bomb the area. Let's bomb. let's leave. Virus bomb all of them. No more squids. <laughs> no squids. No squids. Uh, but yeah, you have these sort of like these these two these two two wooden doorways. I uh, I guess I'll push the first one open. I try to. Okay. Uh, the, it pushes open, uh, and as you you push, some like force almost sucks you in, and it sucks all of you. You find yourselves like tumbling over top of one another. Luckily, Pi being first, since he is made of metal, um, <laughs> and you find you, yourself like disgorged into a room, and you hear this like humming sound, and there is a massive slam behind you. Um, and Zedek, you're the first to kind of look up from this. Is like you see your bed. Oh. Is are we are we really are we back? And like as you you sort of stand up, you look back and you see the like the slammed shut frame of your closet. Have we have we been in the closet the whole time? Well, I'm glad that you can now, you know, experience your journey. Now yes, we're out. all here to support yes, you. We're very happy for we're you. We're all here for you. I hear you. authentically from here on out. <laughs> <laughs> for goodness sake, just where are we? Get it. I, we're back on the ship. Oh, the big damn quiet then. We're not supposed to be here, remember? Wait, there's only one way to know if this is really the ship. I'm going to uh, walk into uh, Zedek's medicine cabinet. Mm hmm. 
Uh, ner uh, spending a point of wrath, I probably left some like radium pistol rounds somewhere around in the medicine cabinet. Uh, are they are they still there? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Okay, yeah, they, these were here. And they're very radioactive. So. And like as this is going on, I assume like Reeb, uh, you kind of like have have the, the tenacity to look around and like notice the the viewing port that looks out, and you can see the planet outside the viewing port. Uh huh. Where are we? It it is. Give me a scholar check, actually. Oh fucking boy! Whoops. Here we go. Oh boy! Scholar. Throw. I'll give you seven. Yeah. Uh, you look out to see there is a single dead world floating outside, and you recognize it from the reports you've read, everything you've memorized. It is the dead far world of Fimbria 5. Oh, I was gonna be like, ah, dead world. Oh, we're at Terra! No, no, no. Uh, it is it is Fimbria 5, the planet at the absolute far edge of the system. Gentlemen, we appear to be in orbit around Fimbria 5. Cover the and as you look down at it, you can see something catches your eye momentarily. Some kind of line cutting through the planet like a a almost vibrant neon green glow. And then another line. And suddenly you're seeing large swaths of the planet begin to glow with this green color. And that is where we are going to end today's session. Whoa! Do -do -do -do. We did thank it. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, hey, hey, nothing bad ever happens <laughs> to the Warhams party. Yay, Peter Griffin. <laughs> and so oh, with boy. that, I'd like to say thank you to the one potential one who almost got taken over by corn, Oscar Ty, Ranger, and Tech Priest. Yes. I brain played by me, Speaker D. I am on Twitter at Super Snake Kick. I am on YouTube, but oh god, I don't post anything there, and now everything is changed and different and ah! so yes, thank you all for being here and sharing our tears uh -huh. and fear. Oh, amazing awesome medic inquisitorial acolyte. Uh, it's Reed Van Horn, played by Ern Dillio. You can meet me at Twitter at, at Ern Dillio and literally nowhere else. I have been Zorn the Bear, playing Lorne, the sanctioned psyker, and our amazing and absolutely respected uh, captain of, or the rogue trader of the Debt Collector. That's me, playing the illustrious Captain Zedek. I'm Hulky Crow. You can find me on Twitter, at Hulky Crow, on Zorin's Discord, and the same name, as well as on the Warhams Community Discord server, which I'm sure there's a link floating around somewhere. But you can there's follow that and hang out with me and the other, other cast members. We do, we do fun stuff. It's a great community. Stop on by. It's very fun. And thank you again, Mr. Thurston Hillman, our game master for this session, for doing another ama or telling another amazing story today. Thank you, and thank y'all for going through this uh, player psychology-based episode where we dug up all of our old sins and talk through them. We got to have these talks before we get into the end game. I'm excited. Uh, you can find me on all the things uh, at on called GM. Uh, the Twitter is where I do stuff sometimes, and then uh, check my Twitch. I might actually be streaming stuff in the coming weeks because i got some stuff i gotta do so i figure i might as well do it with an audience Woo! okay that's me hey all right with that everybody let us go ahead and switch it over and thank everybody who has been supporting us uh, i do like to say thank everybody who's been supporting the twitch side of things thank everybody who's been uh, helping us on the patreon side of things we'll see if the text here wants to work come on you can do it i believe you can do it just just do the thing. Okay, it broke. <laughs> Wait, no, there it is. It just took it a while. Uh, but yeah, but thank you everybody who's been supporting us on Patreon. Thank you everybody for coming back uh, to the streams and stuff like that. That's been, it's been incredibly helpful. Uh, it's good to know that people still want to come over and say hi to us, even with all the turmoil and everything that's been going on with the, uh, some of the Warhammer side of things and everything. And I'm sure we all definitely like to say thank you for supporting us when you can. Um, 
once we finish up the story, we hope you guys could continue to join us and everything else. So as we okay. have the Patreon thing roll, thank you. Yeah, thank all of you. Hopefully we'll have news soon on like what our mad plans are. Yeah, yeah just yeah. stay tuned to our social medias, to our Discord and everything else. Um, if you go Hi. on my Discord, I also have a link to the Warhands community one in there. So you can have all your Zoran goodness and also all of the Warhands goodness as well. Uh, in there, you'll we'll be putting out a post fairly soon, basically detailing our roadmap for the future, so you all know what the hell is coming in the future, and all the stuff that we're working on, uh, the back end stuff. So, thank you, chat. We'll see you all next time. Remember see to visit warhands.tv for the schedule, so you know when the next episodes are. See you next time. Good luck. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. To the sky. He is coming with the clouds. No, he's not. No, fuck, I was wrong. <laughs>